And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. You know if it gets to the second verse that we're doing something in the studio. And that is, uh, that's Jay's eating healthy. It's healthy Tupperware cat food. It's fucking awful. It's the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Series XM95. I'm Dan Soder. And that man turning his body into a temple. A hard temple. Mm-hmm. It's Chicka Batot. No, he uh, walked in behind us. Uh, heel turn. Uh, heel turn. Chicka Batot with the super kick. It's Big J Okerson. Uh, hi. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. We uh, we did we finished the Lost Tapes, which airs obviously tomorrow at 6 p.m., but uh, came back up and you had you guys just healthy snacks all. We've started every show this week talking about food. So I, stupid fucking lie. Now I'm over it. You don't like it, right? Uh, no, I do like it. I bet you don't like it. I mean, I think you're doing well. I do have big news, though. What? In my world. I told you this already, so... I like to pull the curtain, not to, but a lot of people in here don't know this. And maybe none of them care. But I woke up this morning, I'm going to stop eating. I woke up this morning... Oh, I thought you were, I thought you go, I'm going to stop eating. I'm like, wait, you're going anorexic? That's I, thought, I thought it would be funnier to eat this food on the air. Um, I found out this morning that insurance is now going to cover my light thing therapy for my skins, my stupid fucking skin dots. It finally, a year and a half, came through. So that means that you're going to be able to get treatment on it so they're going to disappear? They should, yeah. So you be gone. Are you going well, to have, burn, are you gonna have like a bunch of burn marks, like people who, uh, when they get tattoos removed and it looks no, all No, no, it's not that. It's, just, it's going to a tanning bed, this thing. Ooh, are you going to be all bronzed up? Yeah. No. I can't wait for bronze J. It's just supposed to make them like fade away, and then they'll come back, and then I have to do it every year, if it works. Here's the thing, it might not work, but if it doesn't work, I still feel like there's something, because again, it's nothing that anyone ever points out on me, mm-hmm. or sees a problem with it at all. Yeah. It's me. I, I know, I mean, if I pointed them out to you, of course, you'd see a zillion of them, but... I think most. Uh, I actually didn't want to say this, but I've noticed it for quite some it's time. It's freaking me out. It's changed our relationship. <laughs> the been, dynamic of our relationship is different. It's been really freaking me out. You walk in on me and Jacob talking. I go, I can't even look at him. I mean, he's covered in him. <laughs> but it's like a three day a week thing you have to do for months. And I swear to God, this is the similar thing that my cousin Luke had, where he just had to lay in the backyard naked and let the sun rays hit no, his thing. No, it's not that. It's not the same. That is funny. Well, that's, that's just Colorado medicine. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Colorado. Frontier Med- medicine. Hi, it's High Plains medicine with Dan, Dan Soder. The gang. Oh, that'll just a little sunlight and a slap on the back. No, but they said it was cosmetic, and that they they wouldn't. But then handle. insurance covered it because they're like, "Oh, he's gorgeous, <laughs> so we need to take care." No, of the it. fucking just the appeals process is like a year. The okay. appeals process. Well, they said no at first, remember? They I know, but that's just funny that you're like, I have dots on my skin, and I need a light gun to shoot it. And they're like. Maybe appeal it. Oh my god! Appeal the rule. They dra- I don't know exactly. I don't know what the drag is. What are they? Shit. I mean, I'm just because by the time the paper comes in front of the I'm, person, it's, yeah. they probably just go, "Yeah, oh, yeah, it's fine." Yeah, they don't care. I know. Do you think they care? It's just this big astronomical amount of money that they have, and they're just like, mm, "Yeah, this guy has skin things, but he wears kick-ass fingerless gloves." Yeah. And they go, "Leave it for a year. Yeah. I want him to live dangerously for a year." I want to wear those knuckle gloves well past the reason of wearing. <laughs> Um, it, are your hands going to breathe the day you do it and you get treated and you don't have to wear the gloves in the summer? I'm I'm, tr- I'm making myself, Christine will support this, I'm making myself not wear them in the house ever because I was doing that for a while too, like it, just so I didn't see it and like bother a, me. Like a Japanese house, you take them off at the door, you yeah. don't want to bring in your outside dirt, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I do have to go to therapy though, I'll tell you, because I was talking to my mom today, Yeah, I told her, I was like, oh, it came through, they're going to do the uh, light treatment therapy. She was like, oh, that's great. I know it's going to make you feel so much better. And I go, yeah. I go, somehow, even if it doesn't work, I'll still feel better. Mm-hmm. And I was like, and don't worry. I was like, this year, I'll find something new to obsess on. <laughs> There'll be <Yeah>. something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, that's that's the whole reason I've uh, recommended therapy for you. <laughs> yeah, it kind of makes crazy something. people, um, you know, makes you focus in on the real shit, not the crazy shit that drives you nuts. We you know, still I have shower fights. I still have shower fights every day. Yeah, I don't know anybody who's in therapy though. Who's an, it's? It seems like a lifelong process. Yeah, it's not. It's going to the gym. It's like you can stop going to the gym. You're just going to get mentally fucking sad and fat again. <laughs> you get mentally flabby. Yeah, you get mental flab. Look at that mental muffin top you got going there, Dan. Dude, I was having a rough one Tuesday or Monday night, and I go to therapy Tuesday morning, and I was like looking at it like, ah, oh, this will feel good. It'll feel good to go to therapy and just talk to an old Jewish dude who I don't know about all my fucked hey. up shit. <laughs> yeah, of course you are. You're a big baby. <laughs> <laughs> you're a, I know he sounds like Kermit. Joe List hates my Allen impression, and Joe List can go fuck himself with a cold iron rod. He's one of my Wow. Hate. Yeah, I mean it, dude. Wow. I mean it. I'm, I'm bringing some real Reddit hate. 
Uh, no, but the reason I say that is I wanted to show you this video that someone tweeted at me this morning. I went in my study, and I was having my English breakfast tea. Mm. My, okay, yes. I'm following your story. At my oak desk in front of my leather-bound novels. And um, I went on Twitter, because that's the only way I check Twitter. And this guy tweeted at me. He goes, hey, man, this is from the Legion of Skanks subreddit. And on the subreddit, it was posted by Creepy Cupid. And then at Shurhino tweeted it at me. And it's uh, <clears throat> the thing said, drunk Dan Soder gets arrested. And I watched the video. And it legitimately, the guy's face is blurred out. But when I heard his voice, it fucking freaked me out. Because I was like, is that me? Did so I get, arrested, did I get arrested in Arizona? I mean, yeah. I, I Maybe they had it. And I signed a release to a and or <laughs> I didn't sign the release to A&E. You promise you'll pay for my lawyer? I don't, dude. There's no way I'm signing this release. Sorry, bro. I'm way too fucked up. So let's play it. 17, I got a subject leaving the back right now. 13, we'll come out here. Wearing a hoodie 13, on the cell phone. Out here. Sir, how are you? Do me a favor. Stand right there for me. Spread right. your feet for me, sir. Yeah. You got nothing on you, right? I know my partner just paid, cool, paid you down. Dude, I'm cool. All right. Dude, I don't oh, deserve this. Obviously, she went over and called the police. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's probably a good reason for that, right? Uh, no. I no? Never heard I did everything for her, man. Spent $150,000 on her. Like, <laughs> why, why would I hurt her? So what happened? I mean, it sounded it sound like if I was doing a Rocky impression. But I, I don't understand. I don't know. I bought her a nice thing, man. I don't understand why you can't leave me alone, man. This is me if I kept drinking and never got into comedy. I'm just in a big backyard complaining about a thing I bought a girl. I got her a Nordic track, and she didn't even like it. She didn't even use it. <laughs> I hope this guy goes, Break me down, all right, I'm afraid. It's the first goes, time of my life, you I'm know, afraid. Just that you guys were arresting me, and it's like, Mick just died, you know? Yeah, and, <laughs> Sir, you're not Rocky Balboa. I no, go, you're right. I'm just a show of what once, what once was him. I don't know. I That's got, what I'm saying. I, I gotta find my mojo again. My kids let the jacket got stolen from E from Entourage. <laughs> you know what that's like? It's right. like walking around. You guys are arresting me. I'm just <laughs> trying to get home. You Listen know what I mean? The, here's the voice. Your dick's out. Yeah, so, I don't know. Why are you looking at my dick? Because it's out. I was peeing. Your dick's out. What? <laughs> just starts dissolving the trunk. What? What? Uh, you know, uh, maybe I am a little too drunk. Oh, he goes, you guys are cool guys. You're cool guys. Sir, what? You guys are... Sir, I'm going to be sick. Uh, move. <laughs> move. I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to hurl. I th- let's see. If, it's Lake County. Oh, <laughs> Illinois. Why are we here? I don't know. <laughs> Did you have a fight? Did you have an argument? Yeah, we had an argument. Did it get physical? Nah. Nah. <laughs> That's well, it's it's my Jeep, okay? Okay. If she doesn't get have a pay and she's... <laughs> yeah. Garapay's Jeep is over there in its uh, part. Uh, fart box and... Br- sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Garapay and Fujak. And Fujak. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Also, you know, hey, oh, you know him? Uh, did, what did Trish call you guys? Uh, I'll <laughs> box her fucking ears in. It's just I don't want to go home and disappoint that woman. I, works uh, hard. I work over at America's Bar and Grill. <laughs> this is Aurora Dan if he stayed there. This is Lake County, because it says Lake County, but it's Illinois. But if I would have moved to Lake County, California with my dad, if I would have been raised by Gary, this is me. 100% oh, totally. this is me. Except you're not wearing underwear, and your fat dick's just dang. I want to cut off corduroys. You don't know if I'm just knocking, cor- you don't know if I'm knocking denim right now. Oh, uh, yeah, I do. I'm saying in this video. No. Lake County, Dan. I do know. <laughs> <laughs> He's revolt. I said, you're not pulling out of here in my Jeep. So I disconnected the battery. Oh, okay. She couldn't leave. She ran to the neighbor's house. Oh, okay. I didn't do okay. anything wrong. So you're, you're telling me it never got physical? Yeah, well. <laughs> what is that? I didn't hurt her. He goes, well, what does that mean? Dude, that's great. He goes, oh, well, you know, uh, belly shots? I gave, her a, I gave her a pink belly. I may have hit her in the liver kidneys. Trying to t- I just wanted to bring it down. She's been emotionally bringing me down now for so many years. I told her, I said, get away, and she wouldn't. I gave her an Indian burn on her forearm. If you're looking for, she's a fat woman wearing the Tasmanian Devil and Bugs Bunny wearing Colorado Rockies jerseys backwards, like crisscross (laughs) t-shirts. And she's got stretch pants on. You can't win! Pink stretch pants with a lot of weird brown stains on (laughs) it. 
Oh man, she Lake, loves it. They have stirrups. Lake I know that's what I said, officer. Lake, we still have stirrups. Lake, Lake <laughs> County Dan is uh, could be a real thing. I pushed her around, but she went, <laughs> nah, I like that. Where did you push her? No, I never heard her. Where did you push her? In the Jeep. Because she, she wanted to drive. She, she don't have a license. Was she in the she driver's seat at the time? She wanted somebody to revoke driving around. Well, absolutely not. But. Well, then I disconnect the battery, so okay. we had an argument. Well, that, that's one thing, but the other part is putting your hands like you. He looks right. like you. You both make excuses for hitting women. No. Is also, this not you? Can I tell you this right now? His line of his line of thought is perfect in sync with mine. Disconnect the battery. She won't get out. <laughs> you push her a couple times, and then you go to work. Yeah. <laughs> pop, you pop the hood and take out the battery. Yeah, hit her with a hammer a few yeah. times. Times it gets working. I, uh, you know, she so, doesn't listen the first time, and then I try to get her to listen the second time. She tried to scratch me. Oh, I've learned with this girl particularly. You guys like third my, third times chump. Drunk day on trying to impress <laughs> cops. You guys like Macho Man? Can I do a Macho Man for you? <laughs> Sir, did you hit the woman? Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> sir. Where were you between the hours of ten and eleven p.m.? Can I do it? Seven to seven to <laughs> Hulk Hogan, you got wandering eyes. <laughs> <laughs> sir, you're too drunk. You can't even do your macho man. I grew up with you. I know who you are, Lake County Dan. <laughs> well, you know Gary was a good man. He he did his best. You know, it was out there, it's just you know. Do they? They're wearing full body. It looks like they're wearing full body armor with this fucking guy. Yeah, they don't fuck around. They, the might, have shoot, they, might, have shoot, they might have to shoot this guy a lot. Yeah. Okay. You, you did the right thing by putting your hands on her. Yeah. No, I didn't. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I didn't do anything wrong. No. No. <laughs> it's Tiny Rick. I Lake wrong, County man. Dan. Yeah. Lake <laughs> County Dan. <laughs> I'm hammered. Lake County Dan. Did I put hey, my hand? bitch ain't listening. Gotta knock a bitch down. Hey. Lake County Dan. Lake County Dan. <laughs> I'm Lake County Dan. <laughs> I get hammered. I put my hands on women. Lake County Dan. What are we waiting for? I smoke cigarettes inside while I'm taking a shit. Lake County Dan. I hit women. Lake County Dan. <laughs> How many is a few? Out of hand. I don't know. I drink a lot. I'm retired. Why don't we walk up over here? Retired. I, I think they're retarded. But that's what I thought too. <laughs> I'm he goes, oh, I don't understand. I'm mentally retarded. I drink a lot. I don't know how much is a lot. I ain't I, punchy. I got what you call like, I don't know, a relaxed brain. But I ain't punchy. You know, it's, it's just, just the way I talk. Right, have a seat. Why are you putting me in? There? Have a seat. Watch your head. I can't stand outside. I like that. Because we're telling you I to like sit down. I do believe, Dan, that you definitely had a flannel shirt with a hood, though. I want one right now. I had. If I anyone can find me a dark green one, I'll fucking rock. If it's comfortable, I rock think I got rid of. My, I think I got rid of one not long ago. Yeah. I was rocking one for a season. I love them. I love them. I love getting arrested when you're hammered uh, I have hoodies. <laughs> <laughs> At the bonfire SXM, of course, we'll tweet this out. Why? It's warm in there anyway. You're warm. You have seen You're pig. warm in there. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you say? <laughs> What'd you say, pig? What? You're warm in there, huh? Squeak, squeak. I think pigs go oink, oink. <laughs> Fag. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Can we get breakfast? <laughs> oh, can we drive through Taco Bell breakfast? Oh, man. There's a Waffle House on the way to the jail. I they make that. a quesarito with bacon, and I'm just itching for <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Rip some bangers before you guys shut up. <laughs> really hit me at the wrong time. Why you I'm not going to ask again. All right. Give me a case of whiskey, I'll drink every bottle. If you give me a case of whiskey, I'll drink every bottle. What is he? Go I'll back. drink every bottle down right now. Oh, he likes booze. I really, this That's is a like, weird thing to offer for them. He goes, if I show you guys a feat of nature, would you then let me go? Cool, <laughs> cool party trick gets me out of trouble. <laughs> what if I swallowed all the bags of cocaine and didn't die? <laughs> uh, <Yeah>. no. Nah. <laughs> Close to give me a case of whiskey, I'll drink every bottle down right now. Right so now. We don't want that. But non-stop, I'll drink it right down. Like Jim Belushi. We don't want you to harm yourself. We don't want you to harm yourself. We're going to go to one of two places. You're, you can play it. I'm just going to read it out loud. Uh, to the hospital voluntarily, or you're going to go to jail. I want to go home. I didn't do nothing wrong. So right now, one of my partners spoke with the female, and she doesn't want to pursue any charges uh, regarding the battery. 
I want to see her so bad. I want to see Lake County's wife. Oh, God. Lake County Dan's wife? What do you end up with? Don't bang the divider. I didn't do I don't know. I'm emotional. This is retarded. Take these guns. I'm not a criminal. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not a criminal. We're not saying you are, okay? Why you with me? The cuffs are going to stay on until you get to the hospital, okay? You're not getting it tomorrow. Because you threatened to kill yourself. <laughs> oh, dude, that was perfect. That was perfect. God damn it, Lou, that was perfect. How did Mickey get in the car? Uh, Mickey, are you in the passenger seat? You threatened to kill hey, yourself. Yo, Mick. Yeah, well, I'm going to kill a lot of people when I get out of Well, that's, that's why you can't get out of oh, Lake County Dan. Lake County Dan. Everybody dies. Yeah. Lake County Dan. Uh, I'm going to take everybody out when I get out. I'm going to take everybody out. Lake County Dan. <laughs> I'm Lake County Dan. <laughs> I drink at a bowling alley. I'm Lake County Dan. Gary used to work there. Lake County Dan. <laughs> he worked at the, Ga- the Gary Memorial Bar. Oh, dude, hell yeah. The Gary the Gary W. Soder <laughs> Memorial Bar. At G- the, G-Dub Soder? At G-Dub Soder at the Lakeside Lanes. <laughs> Lake, Lake County Dan. <laughs> You're Dan H.W. Oh, Soder. Dude. Hey, what's up, everybody? <laughs> what were we calling you earlier? The Vaughn Soders? Oh, the Vaughn Soders. Oh, of the Aurora Vaughn Soders. Oh, that's a steel family. Daniel Von Soder? Oh, they rose to fame in the Great Plains. Uh, what's this guy? What's the finale on this guy? So what we need to do is get him to the hospital and get get some treatment. I mean, he'll probably be kept for at least 72 hours. I want to see the girl. Wow. We went over and talked to his giant wife. No, I see her. They gotta show her. There's she gotta said, be a "Can money you get shot. his wallet?" Oh. Said, Can you get his wallet? His credit cards are there, and I'm starving. And she goes, and I'm about to eat him out of house and home. Tiny Rick, <laughs> I'm Tiny Rick. Things. Yeah. Who wants to hunt a vampire? <laughs> Rick, how, how did you? Yeah, I got bored, and then I remembered this morning how I blew summer off, and I thought, hey. Why are you such a grumpy douche, Rick? Go to the garage, transfer your mind into a younger clone of yourself, and get embroiled in some youthful hijinks. What's the BFD? Yeah, there's two things playing. That was Rick and Morty. And the A&E thing's still playing. Drunk Dan's still Bitch. going. Um, he never stops. You want to take our first break? Well, now I want to hear the word Tiny Rick. <laughs> no. I want to build it up. Okay. <laughs> well, it's good you're here, Rick. I was pretty sure we didn't have what it takes to deal with a bloodsucker on our own. Don't short sell yourself, Summer. You got everything it takes, but it'll still be fun to do this as a f***ing team, mother f- yeah. Tiny Rick. Uh, oh, my God. Toby Matthews. Hey, Toby. I'm Tiny Rick. I'm new. Hey, oh, <laughs> go easy on me. <laughs> Just kidding. I like your straightforward style. And that lab coat's pretty cool. Summer. He knows. Why wouldn't he? You're great. <laughs> but listen, just be careful. We can't rule anybody out as a vampire. Not even the dream boats. <laughs> Stop, Tiny Rick. Hunting a vampire with my grandkids. <laughs> Tiny Rick. <laughs> the best. The Tiny best. Rick. Rick and Morty, the best. We'll be right back. Should we, uh, yeah, we're going to take a break. Sure. We're going to take a break. It's the bonfire. You're the bonfire. You're the bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. That's Sweet Sounds Rob Zombie right here on the beat of New York City, your home of classic rock. Yeah! Comedy Central Radio, Series XM95, it's the bonfire. It's the scooter, that's the buzz. You're listening to Wolf Classic Rock Radio. Cleveland. Oh, what's that I hear? Is it Whip It Off Wednesday? That's when guys take their pants off and slap their dongs against the windows of unsuspecting cars, was everybody. That that, is that what uh, that was? No. Oh. It was Whip, whip Them Out Wednesday, yeah. so we'll show your tits. Yeah, O&A. Oh, good. For, uh. I bet that just caused a lot of irreparable damage to cars and didn't and, and produced very little tits. <laughs> and the tips that they get shown, a boyfriend was going, what are you doing? No. Me and, uh, Lu- me and uh, Louis J. Gomez, we used to drive... Long distances, we always made a. Lewis would always make a sign <laughs> just on a piece of paper that said uh, "Show your boobs" in like thick marker. Yeah. And we would, and we've done this to maybe a thousand cars in our lives. How many titties? Zero titties. None. But you can find out if somebody's a cool person or not because yeah. the reaction, if the reaction is shitty, it's, like, it's obviously so stupid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was always yeah. not. It was always more fun to have somebody. No one ever showed their titties, but once in a while. Yeah, you know, and I used to say once in a while, see, more times than not, the people would always kind of look over and like laugh at it. One time, 
I think they wrote their number on a thing, and like Whoa. we called their car of like whatever two or three chicks. Hey, and it, did, it was. Then you guys went to a haunted summer camp and all got hunted down by a. And then we went to a haunted got, summer. It was crazy. Okay, Everyone was you, just getting wet and wild. Are you giving me the plot of part seven, Friday the Thirteenth? It's Friday the Thirteenth, part two, oh, and God, I was the handicapped kid who got killed in the. <laughs> Oh, man, I, I want, just want to play. I, I caught a, I, I think more of myself, Christian Slater, part one, where I just catch a spear after Boone and... <laughs> Christian Slater? Uh, not Christian Slater, uh, Kevin Bacon. Oh, the bake. No, the bake, bake got a... Uh, that's what I'm saying, a spear th- after he got banged. Yeah, the, that's right. Through the mattress. That's right. Right through the throat. That was so vicious. Kevin Bacon's death and... That was a good one. Oh, it was. Rock, motherfucker. We found out some awesome news. <laughs> I mean, immediately went to commercial, and Jacob tied up and pushed off and told us that... Oh, yeah. yeah. Jacob's fucking in the world. He's in the stratosphere right now. Yeah, Jacob booted, and then was like, this as he's booting, he goes, by the way, your dad's still alive, and he lives in San Diego. The killer <gasps> awoke before dawn. He put his boots on. He took a note from the ancient gallery, and he walked on down the hall. Are you ready for a revolution, motherfuckers? I am the... I, I'm the shark king. I can do anything. I, I swim, <laughs> so I scare. Also, this whole world is bullshit, you understand? Black Lou's got a list. <laughs> it's not about corporations and selling ad reads. It's about the music, man. Yeah, there's It's about shows. touching souls and getting to a place sure. with people. Sure, there's new shows, but you guys are the show. Yeah, look, shows come. And do they have ad reads? Uh, Most certainly. But that's not the route, man. You guys aren't Valvoline Presents, the Bonfire. You guys are f- you for the people, man. I want to see some love out there. You want to fuck? Fuck. I want to see some action out there. I want to see some action out there. They can't I want to see this. some action out there. Heroin Jacob might be one of my favorite things. <laughs> of all time. It's Jim Marsoning out. Hey, don't worry about it, Lou. We could always whip the horse's <laughs> eyes, right? <laughs> Make them bleed. Uh, yeah. I'm enjoying the doors right now. The goddamn yeah, right shot. Yeah, you are. You're That's the junk hitting your veins. <laughs> oh, do we could go to a real. S- yeah, no, we- I appreciate it. Those are shark videos. <laughs> I bet you, by the way, Jake, would never be more happy if we just turned all the lights in the studio <laughs> off. Like, oh, Mallow. Deb comes that in. is sick, Mallow. Deb comes in with her a back massage. Oh, dude, hit all the lights off, Black Lou. Yeah. Oh, that with that light flashing. No safety. <laughs> Seance in here. <laughs> it looks like such a shark seventy shark video. <laughs> he goes, Mister. Sh- Hi, Jacob. It's me, the shark. Dan, I'll tell you, I found this hot little number one time. Yeah. Down in a uh, Lakewood. Yeah. And ah, uh, oh, she was something, man. Hair flowing. I'm the in truth. In the breeze. I'm the truth, shark. You can be completely <laughs> honest with me. Can I tell you everything? Everything. And then, anyway, long story short, Dan, this Indian girl looked through my soul <laughs> and came out on the other end alive again. And, uh, anybody else hungry? <laughs> well, what Jacob did reveal to us before he uh, pushed off was that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there'll be no more. Uh, but you may feel a little sick. But he um, he told us that Black Lou has a list of ten black women he would fuck, and we all know Black Lou's specialty is white women. So for that's him, that, flavor to have that's to, his chocolate chip. Yeah, it really is. It's the way I love my double char double chocolate chunk. You're a fucking man, Talenti. You're, you're a simple man. Um, but I want to guess from the staff. Who me me and you guess Jacob Christine Lou if you guys White Lou if you have any guess guesses on who's on Black Lou's top ten black how would we say this Black Lou's top ten he black bang. women he would bang yeah. should we be doing this over like a triumph like uh, yeah. uh like triumph uh, um. Like music bed, like an intro of some kind of hip hop song. This is a very big deal. I got I go all the way with Lou. Are they, they're all famous. Like we could. Oh yes, I we'll got, be able to I guess. got one. You about, do. Um, could we? Yeah, I guess. Maybe, we'll take Triumph instrumental. I was gonna say Curtis Mayfield. I could say we can go with something sensual. 
Oh, really? I was saying we could even go like uh, Al Green, some Sade. Oh, sure. I mean, this is black black love. <laughs> this is, oh, this is soulful. Oh, yeah. Maybe, uh, this is black love. Give, give, this is D'Angelo black love. Give it a feel. Ooh, I would love some D'Angelo. I would love D'Angelo because you know what it is? It's Black Lou giving up that devil white woman pussy. Oh, yeah. The devil pink pussy. D'Angelo wants you to know, baby, you was always welcome back. Yeah, you're always welcome back. But I want to see if we can guess, if us pinks These can guess. queen's been waiting for you. Come <laughs> on, king. Oh, Nubian prince. King. Welcome back. No, I'm talking to you. Lift your chin, king. This queen's been waiting for you to come home to your kingdom. Take we your throne. Do we not have D'Angelo? Listen up, young blood. <laughs> I want to give Bla- yeah. I want to give Black Lou old black guy advice. Hey, listen Jack- up, young blood. Listen, Jack- just so you know, your people always waiting for you to come home. <laughs> These white women, they might taste delicious, but just like McDonald's, oh, my Lord. lead to you losing a foot. I seen one that a fucking suck a wiffle ball through a McDonald's straw. Uh, but hold on, real your quick. queen's always waiting there for you. Garth said, uh, in Bizarro World, drunk Dan and gacked out Christine finally trade us the. Trade us that Dos Caminos guacamole recipe <laughs> for a couple of lines of cola. cola. <laughs> calling a couple lines of cola is hilarious. <laughs> Just calling Coca Cola. Cola. Uh, dude, that's so You guys want to do a little cola? <laughs> I love it. Uh, we were just talking about it. So Garth or something tweeted that out. We retweeted it. That's at the Garth episode. from Indianapolis. Yeah. Man. He's the best. Um, so let's guess. Okay. Uh, my first guess is going to be Halle Berry. No. Wow. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Jacob? That could be an age. Terry Washington. No, not at all. Not at all. By the way, just open the phone line. 844-COMEDY-9. 844-COMEDY-9 is the phone If you're going to call in and take some guesses. Well, Black Lou's our phone screener, so we can't. (laughs) No, no, I know, but we just take the calls. Yeah, yeah, Um, And I had said uh, Stacey Dash. He already said no to that. Oh, thank you. Okay. White Lou, do you have any guesses? Do your your Ludum lead you to anything? Vanessa Williams. Not at all. Fuck. What? Jay, you got a guess? Cool. Yeah, I do. Um, I just thought of one. Go light skin. Go light skin. I'm gonna. G- Lisa Voorhees. Hey, hey. First of all, it's Lark, Lark Voorhees. Voorhees. Lark Voorhees. I've already made the joke and stop jumping in and taking my turn. <laughs> Guys, play nice. <sighs> Son of a I bitch. already have. I know my second round question. I'm thinking about this for real because I'm I thinking think about I've, it. I yeah, think I have a good. I one. don't think you guys had really, really good ones here. God, Halle Berry's not a good one. She's old school at this she's, point. Yeah. So she's what, little, dude? So what she's is timeless school, though. Time. I understand. Halle, Halle Berry's timeless. Yeah, I get it. But I think, I'm thinking. Still, like, I right. have a. Uh, I'm gonna say Car- I'm gonna go Cardi B. No, thank you. Oh, okay. Cardi All right, B. Fine. Please, fine. God. I'm going classic again, but I'm going a big classic. Yeah. Tyra Banks. Nah. Damn it. Nope. Too much faux head. <laughs> 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 Megan Good? No. No. She's oh, a good she's, guest, though. She's close. That's a great yeah, guest. People shit on me for her all the time, but no. I'm not into her at all. I don't know why. Wow. Oh, I, yeah. got, I got one. Uh, right. What do you got? She just came in the office today. A- Aisha Tyler. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yes. Aisha Tyler. I would right. climb her anytime. Yeah. Oh, Jay yeah. is not impressed with that. No, I just I think she's very pretty, but I mean, like, I, I'm surprised her and not like Tyra Banks then or something. That's kind of weird. Uh, let's just fucking rip in. I, I can hit these buttons and it'll pick up, right? We're just going to take oh, quick I, answers from people. I'll do it for you. I got you. You got it? Okay. Uh, let's just go. Let's start opening the lines. Uh, just say who you, you think what's, it what's is. Your, what's your name? Who do you think it is? Rihanna. Rihanna. Fuck yeah. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Wait, who is this? What's your oh. name? We got to get you give you credit. <laughs> this is Jared from Tucson, dog. Oh, all right, dog. Tucson, T Town. We got a fucking too strong. Dude, you, you worked there at the Von Soder skate shop? Oh, uh, nice, bro. <laughs> Dude, hell yeah. Go on down to, oh, damn it. Mountain. I'm Longboard. on Mountain Speedway, bro. <laughs> Come on down to Dan Soder's tasty ass fucking skate shop. Line two. What do you got? Go ahead, my friend. What do you got? Yeah, this is going to be uh, a, a shout out to the past, Harriet Tubman, on <laughs> a uh, freedom train. That's fair oh. enough. Is Harriet Tubman, in fact, in your list? Oh, you're going historical. <laughs> Does it just have to be current, or can it be all? It can dude, be of no. all time. I you think. know what, dude? We're setting rules as now, and that's a good guess. Harriet Tubman. She did a lot. She did a lot for my people, but I have to say no one. No. Well, because here's here's why these guesses are good. I'm sorry, my friend. Here's why the guesses are good, though, and yeah. we should be taking them all down. It's because. I think we can get Black Lou to look at the list again and realize maybe there's some more because as people are reminding him of some good ones, I don't know if Harry Tubman's going to make the final <laughs> cut. I'm looking at her now. I don't think, honest to God, it looks like I think they were Jackie Robinson or uh, rookie cards. Yeah, look, Harry Tubman, <laughs> Harry Tubman you, you're doing it for the cause. 
Yeah, yeah, she no shit. She looks like a young B.D. Wong. No, she oh, does yeah, she not, sure Jacob. Does. She does not. B.D. Wong's Asian. <laughs> she looks like a, a young Grover Washington. Okay. Those ass cheeks. <laughs> um, go ahead, take another call. <laughs> no one knew Harriet Tubman What's your was, name? What's your guess? No one knew Harriet Tubman was thick. Your name and your guess. Say their area code. Oh, all right, that's giving a lot. Yeah. Uh, hey, you're calling from the 505. <laughs> you're on with the bonfire. What's your name? What's your guess? Yeah, the motherfucker took my answer with Rihanna. So, uh, I'm going to say Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille <laughs> O'Neal. <laughs> no, Christine, <laughs> jot it on the list. Shaquille Pushak. Thank you and very think, much. Shaquille's made the list now. Black Let's take another Lou, one. Black Lou with a hard pass. <laughs> all right, we're going back to the phone lines here. Who we got? Pick one up, Lou. All right, six four six. You're on with the bonfire. Is that me? Yeah. Uh, what? I forgot her first name. Shadow Stevens' daughter. Oh, Amber Stevens. Amber Stevens. That's deep cut. I don't even know who the hell that is. Well, that's enough. You don't know who Shadow Stevens is? No, let's do two that? more guesses and Radio let's get down legend. to the rest of the list. Well, we have to start guessing. I know. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Let's get one more from the callers. We'll yeah. come back to them. Uh, four oh five. You're on with the bonfire. How about? How about Lapita Nyong'o? You goddamn right. Whoa! Oh my God. Black Panda. What's your name, my friend? You're getting some Wakanda. Scott. What's your name? <laughs> Scott. 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 Cool. Good guess, Scott. Good guess, Scott. All right, Scott's got one. Now let's take it back around the room. I went last, uh, Jacob. Jacob, so. who do you got? I know you're in your heroin swamp. I'm looking up her name because <laughs> I like, think you. I don't the see show. color. Everyone's beautiful. Everyone <laughs> goes back to. It's all pink on the uh, inside. <laughs> Is her name Condola Condola Rice? Condola Rice from Billions? Yeah. No, thank you. Oh. Well, I don't know if well, well, who was pretty. the chick from, uh, who was the chick from, uh, was that a joke? Lupita Nyango? Yeah. No, that's real. That's from no, Black she's Panther. Hot, yeah. She's hot. Who is, I guess she's the sister. It's this girl. Really? The sister? Yeah. <laughs> she's it's Kenyan Mexican? <laughs> no. She's wow. Kenyan and Mexican? Can I see a picture of her? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, her? Yeah. It's interesting. All right, so whose guess is it next? Christine. Nicole Richie. What? No, no thanks. That's too much of a technical character. She's barely black. Yeah. Uh, White Lou. Who's the chick from Avatar? Oh. oh. Isn't that Carrie Washington? Joy Bryant? Is it Joy Bryant? Or Carrie Washington. Is she in Center well, Stage? Carrie Washington's already in there. No, I was going to... Rosaria uh, Dawson. No. no. I, I Everyone's got jumping now. No, I, I thought we were going in order. No, we are I don't like when a game it's, falls it's, apart. It's my or, it's my turn now. And I'm How is it your turn? Oh, your turn. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> hey, yeah, Jay, well, it's Lou, okay. Lou, said, Lou Reese said Kerry Washington. Uh, how about Zoe Zalda- Saldana? That's who the girl Ooh. from Avatar is. No, thank you. No, no not her. Not at all. Wow. Oh, I didn't realize uh, okay. you're a Aisha wow. Tyler man. I mean, I gotta see, I'm going to keep uh, hitting with the classics, hoping I get a, a well, Jacob now. No, it's me, then Jacob. And then no, no, it goes boom, boom. That's how it's been going around the room, dude. <laughs> we'll listen back. I don't want to get into a fight about this because we guys, 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 come Jacob. on. Jacob, this isn't a way to play it. We're talking throughout time here. Yes, Robin. Throughout, throughout time, time, oh, time, time. I got another one. Really. I was gonna guess. Ja- it's your guess, Jacob. I gave one, but I can't give two. Oh, go ahead. You see, this is not you listening. <laughs> this is how we started. And he already went back in time, so he blew my go back in time surprise. But I'm still going to do it. You're going to say mine. I was going to say Hillary from Fresh Prince Oh, nah, nah, man. What? Nope. I would take Tatiana over Hillary. Anyway. Really? Oh, yeah, snap. Yeah. I'd take Uncle Phil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Christine, you're running out of black people you've heard of. I am. Um, <laughs> she goes, oh, she's just, she's just Cheryl Googling, Swoops. She's Googling pretty black women. <laughs> <laughs> Queen Latifah. Oh, what about this name? I was going to, but that felt like cheating. <laughs> Go, what do you got? Show it. Tatiana Ali? The wrestler? I mean, uh, the boxer? No. No, that, that's... No, no that's you, the girl Tatiana from Fresh Ali Prince. was Fresh Prince the other Oh, that's girl. right. That's right. No. Her as okay. well. Mm. She didn't make the top ten. Rudy Huxtable. <laughs> <laughs> that's Chase Good. Keisha Knight? No, no, thank you. Lou? Lou. Beyonce. Never. Really? Not Never. into it. I don't I, you get know, it's it. funny. I knew that. I had a feeling of that. It. He's th- too thick. Mm-hmm. Too thick. Too well, black. Too black looking for him. Well, Jay, let's have your fi- your guest be the final guest from the staff, and then we'll reveal the rest of them. Oh, we have. To, we should take some callers again. They were doing good. We, we did some callers. Let's find out. Let's find out the list to keep it moving. Okay. Um, my final guess will be. Come on, you can do this. 
this. Yeah, we got three yeses so far. The yeses are Aisha Taylor. Zoe Kravitz. Oh. oh that was one of mine. No, thank you. What? I mean, I don't know what it... <laughs> that was one of yours, Jake, and one of your ten black women you would be willing to fuck? Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean... Why is well, it sound so racist when you say it? <laughs> There's I ten just... I would fuck. The rest, let's do, let's do, do three. without. Because we only have three, let's do three more callers to see if we can... Are there three more yeah, callers? You'd like to guess, like, at least half of them. Okay. Um, go ahead. Let's take it. Let's go uh, 209. You're on with the bonfire. Gabrielle Sidibe, Precious. Precious? <laughs> Maybe do we go a different route with this, and maybe go precious? Wow, I didn't know he's a BBW. No, no, you know what? Sadly, no. Sorry, that one didn't work. All right. <laughs> can I have one more guess? One yeah, more, Jacob, sure. Of course, Jacob, you're I all got junked two, out. But of course, I'm only, I go can ahead. only save, save two. Well, did we say Lisa Bonet? No, but I, if he's not going for Zoe Kravitz, he's yeah. not fucking that in old dust prime, bucket Lisa Bonet now. In her prime, Lil Kim. Never. Oh God, no. What? No, what? no hood rats. Hey, can I say this? Oh, I was gonna guess Nicki Minaj. Nope. Really? Yeah. Um, the fake ass thing really bothers me. Really? Yeah, that shit bothers me. Fake ass bitch. <laughs> um, let's click another line, Lou. Do we have one on? Seven four zero. You're on with yeah, the bonfire, uh, Derek. I'm dude. I'm gonna do a uh, drum lo- or uh, uh, Bad Boys Two Gabriel Union. Fucking right, man. Yeah. Ah, I love Gabriel Union. I swear to God, I was gonna say Gabriel Union. Union. Oh, I thought she was God. too black looking. No, look at this. He went Lupita Nyong'o. I know. When I right. saw that, I was Fuck bummed that. I didn't go Gabriel Union. Gabrielle, I had that that's one. That's a good guess. Good job, Derek. Plus, she sounds like a you white can't, girl. Can't yeah. do a new age. You can't do new age Gabriel Union. You gotta go. go I get go it. Back. Yeah. No, you do. You have to go back. Wow. Yeah. Um. God, she was hot. Right, I'm going to take another guess, too. All right, do it. Who was the girl shit? She played... Go to the movie gang-related, Christine. Uh, in, like, IMDb. We're going to get this. We're going to get this. Dude, I feel like we're close. And again, now we have four, so we need one more guess, and then... Now go to the IMDb and go down, and... She's a famous actress. Go to, like, the people who were in it. Oh, wait, go up, go up. There, Le- Layla Roshan. No. <sighs> All right, let's go back to a phone call. Hello? We got 740, you're on the air. Hello? Hi, you're on with the bonfire. Hi. Do you have a guess for Black Lou's 10 black women he'd be willing to have sex with? <laughs> I do. I do. Aaliyah? Um, no, I, I don't know if you know, but... How about Aaliyah now? She's dead. Oh, yeah. I don't want to tell you this. Oh, we're talking about just current? No, no, no. no, 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 no. He was, he was, would be good. That would have been fine, but he, she's not the I one... Do you have another guess? I'd like to hear women I guesses. have another guess, uh, another old school throwback guess. Uh, Tisha Campbell Martin from no. Martin? No? No, no, no. Damn it. Her mouth. Her mouth? It's a lot of mouth. How about the other one? Pam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Tisha Arnold? I have a... Uh, are you just looking up beautiful black women right now, too? No, I looked up... Uh, I wanted to find out um, Tisha Campbell Martin's. Uh, Layla Roshan. Pretty fucking good. Well, we have four. I know. I, I want to get the fifth before we hear the five. I'll There's, break and, and, there, and there are. You have your list of ten. Like they're locked in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at it right now. Gabrielle Union threw me. Gabrielle Union really fucked me up. It put me in a whole different. Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I, what are we doing? Um. <laughs> Jake. Trina. <laughs> I'm just gonna start taking. Trina. Yeah, I'm gonna start just getting Aaliyah. going with it. Fucking. Uh, what's his name? Uh, what's the girl? Fucking that was Remy Ma. Yeah. Mm. After All making right. good, I didn't know where to go. Yeah. <laughs> I can't so we have believe four. you didn't put her on the list. So what, so reveal. Give, just give us a taste. Can I give you some? Yeah. Uh, Nia Long. Nia Long. Long. Really? Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god! From Friday. Not timeless. Not Nia timeless. Long. From Friday. Oh. Not ti- now she's getting strict mom face now. Nia Long. She goes. Damn I'm not gonna it. let. She has Nia Long's got. I'm not gonna let my boys go to jail like they daddy yeah. face. Oh <laughs> wait. Leah's gorgeous. How about Tiffany Haddish? No, 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 no. Oh, come on. But Lou, I don't know if you know this, but she ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Tiffany. Uh, no, I thought you were putting that on the list. I was like, yeah, he said no to Tiffany. Oh, Jada Pinkett? Jada, uh, 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 Jada Pinkett uh, from Menace to uh, Society, Jada Pinkett. Let me finish. <laughs> 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 uh, 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 Jada Pinkett from that one day, that one time, that one show. Queen Latifah, set it off. <laughs> <laughs> No? Set it off, Latifa. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. So, like, go to a caller. Take a caller. We're going to get these. What are we going to 832. Nia Long. I should have guessed that. No, she didn't hold up. Shut up. 832, you're on with the bonfire. Don't talk about her like that. Hello, hello? 
Yes. Who's your guess? Um, it's a bit obscure. Bella Lovell. Never heard of her. I don't know who that. What's the name? Bella Lovell. Bella, Bella Lovell. No, no, show Crazy Ex Girlfriend. No, Lowell. Lowell, not Level. Right, Lowell. L O V E L L. Oh, Lovell. <laughs> Lovell. Bella Lovell. Bella Lovell. Yes. Let's take a look. She's like Indian. She's not black. She's half black, half white. Ew. That black. makes, that makes Indian? Indian? <laughs> <laughs> That's the recipe the whole get time? That a lot. Ginger ale was just Sprite with a dash of Coke? I mean, she's in, the, she's in the movie. Is she in the movie The Big Sick? Yeah. Which is about Indian people? Yeah. Uh, Lou, it. can you give a hint to the next one? Like a good Sure. It's, it's easy. Um, Baywatch. Very first, I believe. Oh, Tracy. Tracy Brigham. Bingham. Oh, I fucking love her. I was gonna also, guess that oh my! Now I'm thinking downtown Julie Brown might be yeah. on the list. Oh man. Tracy Bingham. I forgot about her. What the hell bitch. happened to her? I don't know. Tracy Bingham. Oh God! Look her up now. Look up Tracy Bingham now. I bet it is a fuck show. Uh, or I bet she's it, held together great. There's not a chance. She fucking smacked a wall hard. She only wears short militant hair now. I bet. Hmm. Nope, nailed it. She's still great. <laughs> um, no, actually, but no, same thing as Nia Long, though. You get, like, stern face, man. Those yeah. sharp features become, like, a hard, damn, a hard older damn, face. Damn. Tracy. I mean, when she, she was young. Was, I forgot. Christine, why don't you stop doing, wow. uh, stop, why don't you stop dicking around and just oh. typing the word nude next to her name so we can get to it. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are we doing here? I guess. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, she stretched it out, huh? Mm. Look at that beef. Stupid, ugly, separated tits. No. Hey, all right. <laughs> Our tits were a little fucking, they are separated. Whatever. What about a guess on another, a hint on another one? I mean, Jacob, he's just getting it away for free. This is a typical drug know, addict. We need typical a little... drug addict. Come on, baby, just throw one... me some clues, daddy <laughs> I'm back here to lounge. Hey, Black Lou, how about we go in the high heat studio? I make you feel good for a couple of clues. <laughs> Listen, I'll do a little something for you. You tell me a little something about you now. <laughs> That's oh, a little trade-off. I feel like, you know what makes me feel good? Clues. Clues. I love clues. <laughs> Let's take another call. I don't have another guess right now. And Vivica A. Fox, no. No, nah, 50 ruined that for me. Oh, well, I'm talking booty call. 512, you're on <laughs> You're on the bonfire. Independence Day. 512, you're on the bonfire. You got a guess? Hey. Hey. Hey, this is Deborah. I'm going to see you guys next week in Austin. I can't wait. Oh, hell yeah, Deborah. I've and got a couple of good guesses, I think. Go oh. for it. Okay, uh, Dandy Newton. Tandy Newton, that's oh, not bad. Wow. A lot of no, bush of her on TV right now. A lot of bush of her, but good call. Tandy Newton, that's a no. No, thank you. Okay. That's a no. Okay, what about the gal? I think her name is Zazie Beach. She plays Van on Atlanta. Ooh. Oh, she Ooh. is cute, but no thanks. Yeah, she's not on the list though. She's, she's cute, but not on Black Lula. Yeah, she's not on the top ten. Yeah. Do you have another okay, one? Okay, well that's all I had. Uh, Tessa Thompson from uh, Westworld. Tessa Thompson. Oh, that girl. Oh, she's in a lot. Yeah, she was in Thor Ragnarok too. People, yeah. are, people yeah, yeah, are like yeah. it, and she got fully naked in Westworld also. She, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Tessa. She's Thompson. cute. Tessa no. Thompson. No, not your thing either, huh? Well, Tessa Thompson's on my list, so thank well, you. Well, Deborah, great news for you. You just added Tessa Thompson. Are you a white woman, Deborah? Oh. She's gone. Typical white lady. Just <laughs> gone. White lady just hangs up the phone. Doesn't even care. <laughs> Doesn't even care, we have to say. Um, oh, uh, give us a clue. Go ahead. Tender love and care. Oh, oh T-Boss. T-Boss. Uh, uh, chili. Chili. Fuck, I knew it. Chili. Chili. And chili is timeless, too, it seems. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what, Lou. You keep saying these people are timeless, and we look them up, and we prove that time chili might be moves timeless. for everybody. <laughs> Unless Ursher gave her the, the uh, herp. Oh, yeah. No, I know, but I mean, like, chili looks great. Sure, but that's not the chili you want to fuck. I mean, I mean, it is though. No, you want to fuck young chili. <gasps> that's and the world is right. Nick chili Cannon on a date with chili. I get it. Good for them. Good for them. Good for Nick them. Nick and Chili were all over each other. A spy told Page Six. Oh, Nick mm. and Chili. Nick Chili. <laughs> chili Nick. You guys want to give me a bowl of that Nick Chili? Nick and Chili. Nick Cannon Chili. Oh man! Mm. Bust it open. Look, oh, Jacob's busting it open. Jacob's working on the table. <laughs> you got it, baby. He goes, "Hey, you want me to take my pants off, and make it slap on the counter?" So thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> so thirsty. Oh, I feel nothing, and I feel everything. I'm so thirsty. Is that a glow stick? If Deb was here, I'd run right through Ben to get a hug. Check this move out. I don't want nothing to me. I don't need a pill for that. <laughs> hey. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Sheriff Batot. 
bold. I would never have gay sex behind your back either. Yeah, totally. Left I, I'll tell you what, Left Eye was the one I, yeah. I thought was the hottest. I thought Left Eye, was, left eye was a cutie. And I like she burns down houses. That's pretty cool. I hit Rainbow yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday. And I had the deep voice and she'd have the high voice. You'd go perfect. Does it feel good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what, can I move uh, your leg over uh, like this uh, for a second? Hey, no. Lake County Dan! <laughs> Lake County Dan! I'm having sex with Left Eye. <laughs> I'm really drunk. And it's just, the, I don't know. Uh, of I course, like, she, she calls the cops. That's our foreplay. I like your music. And uh, did I hit her? Do you, yeah, but she burned all my sneakers. Do you still have those silk PJs from the waterfall video? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what about Brandy? Oh, no, please. No. Whoa! Brandy, I don't know. I mean, you don't even know. It's Yuck. like you have to pick a side of her face to see which eye you want to talk to. <laughs> Jesus. You saying she's built like a halibut? <laughs> I mean, dude. <laughs> those eyes are not near each other. Bring that up. <laughs> oh, what? Was this a bunch of boring white ladies? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone named Brandy dude, and besides her is white. If you Brandy... It no. Was like, <laughs> Put it in other words. Singer. Dude. You can't Google Brandy. Brandy and hope that only Brandy the singer shows up. The best was the, that's, it was just white women. If you Brandy with her eyes, just random white women. And then Brandy Singer. No, dude. I mean, Jesus, fuck. There's a lot of real estate between every feature on her face. I mean, that is a fucking... That's her a, eyes are separated. I'm telling you. By a good distance. It's no shit. I mean, that's a fucking... That would be a tricky... That's a lot of green, as they say in pool. <laughs> you sink that shot, you're going to get a clap from the crowd. There's a lot of green. There's a lot of green. <laughs> All right, so Brandy's not on the list. Uh, I, I got to tell you, though, for, for time's <laughs> sake, we should probably... Wrap be, this up? You, only because um, they're kind of hard to find i guess or they're not all right i was well. gonna guess um nick cannon's ex Kristen. uh what was her a name? supermodel oh uh, no. tran no, whatever no. no no she was on the singer christina uh, milian yeah she's number 11 number oh god i got so excited that yeah. i guessed it christina milian she's right behind oh she's oh 11 she's, she's, all right so yeah because we got to take a break in five minutes yeah. and oh, give us another clue can we do it through clues uh yeah okay my wife and kids are we back to now? Isn't it Gina that's, again? Yeah, that's Tisha. Uh, nope. Who's the my wife and kid? The mom? I thought Tisha Campbell was. Who's the mom of my wife and kids? It is Tisha Campbell. Oh, so you not want the, the daughter? Yes. Let me see. Ah, she was in daughter? You Got Served. Oh! She can't act for shit, but okay. she's... <laughs> well, do you guys' relationships off to a rocky <laughs> start? I really enjoyed You Got Served. Oh, You Got Served. What's her name? Her name is Jennifer Freeman. Let's see. Ah! Uh, mm. Yes. Okay. Is she black? Yes, she is. But barely. I mean... She just stays out of the sun, that's all. No, this girl <laughs> is so... I'd have she, to see... Really? Some, She's see on the list? She's oh, on the list yeah. out of everybody Look we've her. named. Oh my God. Look at that white girl ass. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've dealt with that before. Look at that I'm, narrow butt. Oh, she's fine. built like she's from Connecticut. <laughs> oh, that's what happens though. But Black Luke comes in with his log and just splits her like a fucking yeah. oak. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, what's another guess? Uh, two more. All right. So, so far the list is, let me name the list of Black Lou's top 10 black women he would sleep with. Aisha Tyler. Uh, Big J guessed that one. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't oh, see that. It has your name next to it. Christine's trying to give you credit. She's a good <laughs> girlfriend. Uh, Rihanna was guessed by Jared from Tucson. Lupita Nyango, who guessed that? Um, well, I think he just said... I just said that one. You said that one. All right. Gabriel Union, Nia Long, Tracy Bingham... Oh, no, actually, no, no. A caller called in. Yeah. Lupita. Did they? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You, you yeah, Lupita yeah. got guessed by a caller. I just okay. don't... I, I'm sorry to the caller that guessed. You got it. Um, Tracy Bingham from Baywatch, which I totally forgot about. Chili from TLC. And Jennifer Freeman from My Wife and Kids. She was the daughter. Yes, sir. Which I... I, I it's your list. <laughs> but I, I think it's crazy. I think, <laughs> I think you leaving... I think Christina Milian being number 11... To her is. That freaks you out. It, it just, it, I'm, ups, I'm disappointed in Black Lou. <laughs> how about? Look at all the. How about? <laughs> I got one. Nose. Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal. That hurts the most. I got one. What? Uh-oh. Mel B. No, no, no. Oh, what? wasn't scary a scary spice? Wasn't a bad guess. Not a bad guess because she got a body like a. She mama. is held together for sure. Yeah, she has a kid with Eddie Murphy, right? Yeah. All right. 
Uh, we'll take. We'll get this last one and then go to go to break and bring in our guest. Give us a clue. Give us a clue. Yeah. It's two more. I'm just going to give you one because it's hard to guess. All right. Uh, Lauren London. Lauren London. Got to see it. She see is it the car it. girl from Entourage. She helped Turtle fix his car. Oh. He had a crush on her for a little while. Really? I fucking love her. She's pretty hot. Yeah. Hot. Very cute. Very Bronxy. Oh, wow. Like from the Bronx. You like really not black looking black women. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's no way we would have guessed her. No, there's right, no right. way. And what's the clue on the next one? The clue on the next one is... Um, Your mom, Jay. Oh, oh. Trish and <laughs> <laughs> My mom's black? What? <laughs> Might be some beef with this one, but she uh, was on Parks and Rec and also on uh, The Office. Oh, she's I didn't watch half. either of those shows. It's uh, Rashida. 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 All right. Yes. Rashida and Jones. Uh, Jones. Yes, one hundred percent. And I consider her to be black because if slavery started again tomorrow, she'd be picking cotton next to me. Okay, so. that's true. She's so another one. She was an I love you, man. I love you, man. She's the I love you, man, girl. Rashida Jones. She is pretty for sure. Yeah. But I mean, it, I mean, Lou. I mean, this is, your, this is on your blacklist, Rashida. I mean, I, I'm going to have to, you know what? I we're purposely gonna talk. didn't She's say her. You know what? We have our guest coming in, and I think he'll be happy to talk about this not being fair to be on. You have two on that list that I would say you have to come off the list. You don't think she got a college grant for being black? I mean, her name is fucking Nancy Sullivan. <laughs> <laughs> Rashida Good Jones. Good Irish girl. I knew her Rashida in Jones fucking the- starter school. <laughs> She was a good kid. Rashida Jones should be a bald black woman who's very angry about things yeah. and wears a lot of tight neck jewelry. My Look, mom oh. is Peggy Lipton. Really? Blondest. <laughs> the prettiest blonde you'll ever see. Yeah. Well, What's uh, up, Jacob? No, Luke is crawling out of his Peggy thigh Lipton. Thigh. Now, there was a fucking real hairy hoe I'd like to dive into. Yes, guys, don't Saying say I this, but I just want to lay. Do you guys ever take energy pills from a gas station? Mm, I want some tag. You guys ever have some samurai pills? <laughs> <laughs> you know we're in the spirit world. <laughs> oh, this has been. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm happy to talk to our. I think our guest will yeah, take you know, some issue with uh, this list. Is this list of our, black women that black women should be in quotes <laughs> on some of these? Um, Thank you, everybody, for calling in and making your guesses. Uh, now, I guess, if you want to call in, just yell at Black Lou for his ridiculous guesses. You can call in. Hey, for leaving some now of these, you can start giving your names and descriptions of why you're calling. For leaving some of these great ones on the bench. As particularly if you're a black woman and want to call in and say if you have any problems with this, would be fantastic. And if you want to prove yourself that you should be on Lou's 10 blacklist. Oh, a civilian pick? By all means, a civilian could make the list. I was ruling that out. Um, it's eight four four comedy nine um, at the bonfire s or the bonfire sxm. No, the bonfire. <laughs> it's all the bonfire of, at SiriusXM dot com. The bonfire SiriusXM dot com. All of that shit. No, 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 no. Yes. no. no. Um, and it's uh, it's Hillary Banks, not Hillary from Fresh Prince. Give the girl some respect, Christine. Oh, your list making makes me furious. In her defense, I know. Jay, I know she's had know. enough. I know. That was just <laughs> funny to call it. That I know Hillary Banks. I'm sorry that I tried to Cobra Kai. Uh, she's had enough. Of you. <laughs> she's had enough. Jer- I'll see what she's had enough. All right. <laughs> all right. Yeah. You should. You should let it go, Dan. But you had to push it. You had to push it, huh? You push it. When does that come out? Cobra Kai on Red 2. Real soon, I yeah, think. We gotta watch that shit. We gotta family watch it. Absolutely. We have a fun guest. Andrew Schultz is coming to the studio when we come back. Uh, it's the bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Lou needs women. Ten black women. Lou likes women. Ten black women. Eleven if you're counting. What's her face from that thing? She was in a movie with Nick Cannon. It's Christina Milian. I just remembered. It wasn't cause you said it. It was on the tip of my tongue. Lou hates black women. He hates black women. Wow. Um, except for those ten. Except Everybody, we're back. It's the Bonfire Comedy Central Radio Series XM ninety five. Big Jokerson, handsome Dan Soder. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't even know. If, uh, I was like, I don't even know if my mic's on. Our guest is going to be at Gotham Comedy Club this weekend, Friday and Saturday, April thirteenth and April fourteenth. You can get tickets at the Andrew Schultz. 
Bonfire.com. It's the Andrew Schultz. Yes. Back on the Bonfire. Yes. Back on the motherfucking yes. Bonfire. Uh, it came Jay's, a good day. Jay's been picking uh, music for me to get more into all week. Okay. Jethro Toll was Monday. That's the uh, flute guy. Yeah. yeah. Really good. Yes. Yeah. Yesterday was Smashing Pumpkins. I like, remember Smashing Pumpkins, deeper obviously. Cuts, like a, some deeper cuts that I, I I didn't really wasn't aware of. That oh, I thought deeper cuts was a band. No, no, no. That's <laughs> Wednesday's deeper cuts. Uh, and then today has been That's Rob. The B-side? Yeah. Today's been Rob Zombie, but I'm already into Rob Zombie enough to know this stuff. I like Rob Zombie because he, he does the movies. Too. Yeah. He did like a yeah. Halloween movie. Yeah, he does really good horror film. Yeah, he, he and then he dated the uh, the girl that got me too by Weinstein, right? Oh, no, 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 that was that's Marilyn. Marilyn Manson. Dated Rose McGowan. Oh, they both didn't date Rose McGowan. No, he's been with his chick for like a long time. Really? She, his wife? Yeah, she's in all. Wait, the movies. you opened for them, didn't you? Didn't you I do? Did, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I went on tour. Opened a good guy. It's a, he kept to, yes, he was a good guy, but he just like really wasn't very like I imagine, friendly and I meant out. because we're doing uh, hmm. we're doing black li- uh, black Lou's his wife ten so list, hot. list of ten black women he would sleep with because he's a uh, white vagina connoisseur. Oh, okay. Can yeah. you actually show Black Lou show you, you show go him after some, the some, snow bunnies? Yeah, show him some naked Sherry Moon zombie and uh, he'll like her uh, because yeah, I was he'll guessing like she is lot. very oh wow she is smoking hot. She's ten so black hot, chicks you would sleep with Lou and some of these this is why we're glad that you came on here because we're white guys asking him questions about his list right. there's a couple that jay and i as white dudes find suspect really that no, we don't who? really know. and I'll, I'll start with this one rashida yeah. jones uh d- yeah what's the deal i mean i think she's uniquely beautiful no yes. no she's but, be- uh, no one's arguing beauty. no one's arguing beautiful but we for some of the women that he's kept off his list of ta- uh, top 10 black women he'd sleep with he only she like- is half are we going like full chocolate no uh, she's half i'd say she's maybe a 140th but i mean she looks like uh, a white yeah, 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 the yeah, way yeah, elizabeth yeah, warren's yeah. chair so i go <laughs> i don't know yet <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, she's the elizabeth warren of black people <laughs> <laughs> no but she's obviously half black because her dad's Quincy Jones. But that can't right. even count as your 10 black women. Isn't that funny? That falls on changed. the white line. That 50 falls years ago. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's it what was Black a Lou drop said. drop of black blood. That's what Black Lou said. That's exactly right. his thing. That's he right. Was what like, was oh, it? No, 116th, Lou? What was it? Jim, Jim Crow was 116th, yeah. right? I believe it was. For, right, for so Jacob's taste, the, 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 the waters the are too muddied with black for, for Jacob's Jacob taste. likes a pure but, white spring. Ah, but John Mayer. But he's an old school racist. Okay, yeah, yeah. This is a new school one. All right, so Rashida Jones. Okay, but look, let's go chocolate, chocolate. I mean, let's go. Dark. Well, Let's so go bring Wakanda. Up li- bring up his list of. If well, you can't Lupita. be part of that Wakanda, mo- like uh, like tribal, like protective men thing, whatever that is, what are they called? Uh, the Dara Mahaj. But Lupita's on the list. Yeah, the Lupita's girl. bad, dude. Oh, she's she's been eating a little bit too. Yeah, she's yeah. good. I so like Lupita, her. So Lupita, this yeah. is why this is why the I'm list. I'm not into the bald thing, but I, I, I'll, I'll let her slide. Oh, when she had the wig on uh, when they're in the casino, I ten was times like, better. Oh my god, yeah. she's gorgeous. I mean, Close I think she's hot, but I was like, no, well, that was. Come on. Um, so here's the list of yeses <laughs> on the list. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we did a spreadsheet. Christine's very organized. Aisha Tyler. Aisha Tyler was on his list. The whitest way to make a list of black chicks to fuck. Yeah, we can't. Write it yeah. down on a brown bag and just put it up. We don't know tomorrow where she has it all circle graphed for us. Yeah. And pie charts. All it, yeah, and it'll be laminated so we don't spill oh, anything on it. This is great. Uh, so, so the list was Aisha Tyler. Can you zoom in? Because I have terrible vision. Or if Jay. You love these oh, white no, no. black bitches, man. Right. Aisha, like, no, 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 no. I mean, very pretty girl, but also up there, too. You could have sex with any black girl and you're going to go Aisha Tyler? I'll be honest with you. I said the same thing. Yeah, no, nah, Lou. I didn't let's, get it. If you're going to go for a big forehead black black chick I go Tyra Banks over Me her. Me too, all day. Her time. 93? Yeah, Tyra, Tyra I wasn't really into the legs. Tyra's legs the, are a little I've bit. never heard that complaint about Tyra Banks. Yeah, Tyra got real skinny down by the ankle like an incredible. <laughs> So and it was it just kind of threw me off because she's big top heavy. I love it. That's what I you're, love. I like a Viking body. You're saying you her, like a pee. Her feet come down to like a <laughs> like a big pee. Are you saying her body pee. comes down to like a balloon knot? It's like a yeah. balloon exactly knot at the bottom. That. Like yeah. like, yeah. like, uh, like when God was making her, he was having a conversation uh. with a restaurant table, like those people that do blow animals. He goes, anyways. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, oh, this tire is ready for you. I think you your legs are great. Her legs are fantastic. Look, I love it. Look at retire. Look at retire. You see how she's still on my list. We are thin down there. That's no. There's no balance. There's no stability. 
ability All whatsoever. Right. Well, watch her Let walk. it be known. Andrew, watch her work her did you, did you see her just pass out on that model show? Oh, yeah. Everybody she was standing. Andrew, Andrew Schultz is that. judging a cankle contest in Here. Bayonne, New Jersey. I like a weekend. nice, thick ankle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Look, I don't want to be able to get my hand around it when I'm holding them up in the air. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Like a fire pole. Look at these fucking hocks. Dude, I love it. This girl's going to be able to take a pound in. He goes, I want a woman with Mike Allstott ankles. I want a third and one back. Barry Sanders. Yeah. I want you stopping on a dime. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at those wrists, too. She can just rip Kitchen it off. I wonder if, want if you only had a picture of... Uh, of you from the torso up holding her ankles in the air. It looks like you're fucking Fred Flintstone. <laughs> Just square, rough feet. It should look like I'm holding Spanish ham. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Recently cut Spanish ham. Exactly. So back to his list. Look uh, at that. She's falling. Yeah. I mean, they can't see his picture. But I can't hold my feet up. Maybe she's like a good running back. They fall forward. That's true. <laughs> get just a couple always, yards. Yeah, get just a couple grab yards. Grab two or three like more. Like LT. Play with that okay. forehead. Who else we got? Uh, Gabrielle Harry Union. Harriet Tubman. Oh, yeah. Harriet Tubman did miss. That was a guess from a caller. <laughs> Can you believe, Lou, after all she's done for black people, what the fuck her. Harriet Tubman? Fuck Harriet, you gotta throw us some charity, Dick. Yeah. You gotta throw at least above the Mason-Dixon line. Chili if from- you fucked her in the 90s, it'd be funny if you left in the morning and accidentally, instead of your do-rag, took her fucking Harriet Tubman bonnet. Yeah. Oh, shit. I gotta go back. I'm just gonna fuck my waves her up. with the syrup? No, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. This was a call. No, Harriet caller. Tubman definitely wore bonnets and shit. Did, it did was she? a bonnet time. It was a bonnet time. Christine, uh. bring up some Harriet Tubman for me. <laughs> and type nude next to it. <laughs> See if there's any floating out there. Oh, okay. What else but we they, got? Uh, he also had Gab- Gabrielle Union from Bad Boys 2. Classic. Yeah, Gabby's Classic. beautiful. Oh, you like him a little older, huh? You like I, mean, I was trying to do an all-time like, gathered list. Because we're at saying? 40s, right? You haven't cracked 30s yet. I'm getting there. Uh, right. Chili from TLC back in the 40s, staying in the 40s. Dude, I was never into we, Chili. I was into the left eye. Left eye was the hot one. She was sassy. She had yeah. the condom on deck. Yeah. <laughs> Always. Oh, it was part of the glasses, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like, this girl fucks. Break, break, break you, open those glasses. <laughs> Can I tell you something weird? <laughs> I'll say something weird about Chili and why I was never into her and the group. I always liked uh, Left Eye and then T Boz when the Creep video oh, came out more. Chili was beautiful. Chili was beautiful, but I grew up in a in a black enough area. Yeah, to know the girls, the black girls that naturally had the that like hair. white white girl hair. Yeah, tended, if you got close on them, all of them had some kind of crazy dandruff all the time that was and that's a weird thing to point out but it's a it's always was the thing i always think they had like you know what their head was always dry and yeah shit. but what you're describing is girls who get a, a perm so it it flattens it not the ones who have it naturally and what they do is they put in like a, a cream to uh, i've never been with a black girl <laughs> no what they do is they put in this this cream and that cream uh, relaxes the hair mm-hmm. and then eventually starts to dry out and they can't wash the hair because the second they wash it then it, it goes, goes back to puff yeah. so they were lying to you about the good hair that's so funny jay this yeah so that bitch isn't 118th navajo <laughs> no <laughs> i did not. a bloodletting ceremony with uh, her okay <laughs> she, she just hired a native american to act like her dad <laughs> i am very glad that you're going out with tanisha or she has been her night wolf. <laughs> Jay, she goes by her tribal name of night wolf of hair that snows. <laughs> goes, oh, yeah, that goes, and then he took me into a sweat temple and we talked for a and weird amount of time. If you want my daughter's hand to join and I take her as your squaw. Yeah. You must understand that her hair falls like a winter sky. <laughs> For yeah. it will coat the ground, and Dan, you must walk carefully. Dan, has there ever been a uh, a chief with a high voice? Yeah. Uh, no, hell no. They wouldn't be a chief. Hey guys, I walk, I walk with the fires that touch the sky. If it pleases the wolf, I suppose. I am squirrel that hides. <laughs> I come from the Lakotas. I am the most disrespected chief of them all. Beat it, chief! Yeah. No lymph nodes. Right, yeah. Give me I have taken with the, the scalp. Voice. Right. I have taken the scalp of 120 warriors to prove my manhood no one still I still get tripped every day at school I am vo- I am chief voice uh, voice that tickles bag <laughs> I talk through the earth um, Where right. were we on the So we were uh, Jennifer Friedman. You know who that is Jennifer Friedman John, is Jen Friedman, the uh, comedian. Jen Friedman. <laughs> Jen Friedman. No, <laughs> she's in the blacklist. <laughs> Jenna Friedman is where's she from? Because she was Jennifer one for Friedman. You ever see that show, My Wife and Kids? Uh, yeah, the, the way bring her up? Yeah, the, the what's it called? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Because I thought uh, I don't know what the daughter looks like. She was in You Got Served as well. No. Oh, yeah, my favorite. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be honest Everyone. with you. I've watched You Got Served a weird amount of times. How many times? Five. I've had wow. it on. I had it on. Uh, I fucked up with. A, a girl had it on one time when I hooked up with her, and then I watched it with an ex-girlfriend. So I've watched it twice. It looks 
those dance moves look almost impossible. That's her. Yet I believe I can do them all. I mean, yeah, you've, this has been a reoccurring thing on the show, though. You think you can do new additions dance. No, yeah, no, I think no, no. you got to pass on I this. can do new additions dance. Okay, yeah, you're right. I'm just saying, again, she is for a she's top hot. List. Maybe the reason that you don't fuck black girls is just you find the wrong ones hot. <laughs> is she the girl from Soul Plane, too? Is she Kev's mm, chicken Soul Plane? she was in Soul Plane. Nah, she was too young at that time. I thought everybody was in Soul Plane. <laughs> Yeah, Tom Arnold, Ali Miller, Monogamous. So, so we, so Andy who Mono would you? Monogamous, Animal Apple, Doppel, Andy Monogamous. So go back to the list, Christine, to see who we left to see who we left off. Tim Bianca Batuka. You guys know that Andy Andy Bianca Batuka, the little. Karen Parsons, no clue who that is. Carrie Washington's bad. Another little girl is in her forties. Karen Parsons was Aaliyah. Uh, Aaliyah. Aaliyah. That was Hillary. This all time list. He left Aaliyah off the list. I, Aaliyah would be on my top ten. So list. here's the reason why I would say no. Aaliyah was never old enough to fuck. Did so she die our, at seventeen? Tell, our, tell no, R. Kelly. She died at like twenty three. <laughs> no, she was no. in her twenties. Yeah, I think she was in her twenties. Aaliyah she, died she, at twenty three. Yeah, she was, Dame, she was dating Dame Dash. I thought that R. Kelly locked it in at like 15. She he, died at 17. No, no he no, fucked no. her underage. Uh, yeah. it's, it's, no, he it, go, it goes to uh, accusation, I believe. Yeah, she yeah, died at 22. Uh, I'll tell you what. Her, bo- her body nice. and her sexiness of her dance moves sold a lot of her... Fa- dare I say, never speak ill of the dead. Very talented, very sexy, but her fa- if she was a girl who worked at fucking Pathmark... Yeah, I don't know if you're coming back in every day to make sure you I see her. I think that's her. everybody in entertainment. Like, Jennifer Anderson's hot for, like, an a regular old. chick. Oh. And an 80-year-old. <laughs> but, like, she's not as hot as some, like, bottle waitress. Like, waitresses are way hotter than celebs. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's like, a funny... not even a question. Howard, yeah, right? Howard Stern says always that one of his favorite things about Donald Trump, yeah. that Donald Trump always told him, he goes, well, he does all his beauty pageants and everything, yeah, and, yeah. and the celebrities he meets, he goes, and there's still none of them that are hotter than the hottest waitress at a fucking, at a bar. Oh, or absolutely. A fu- or, a, or, you know, a Chili's or something. Dude, there's so many times I've fallen in love with bartenders or waitresses, you're just like, you're so hot. And Especially, you-, you go to a place like the Tilted Kilt or one of those where they're yeah. really doing it to like, Hooters, for some reason, is so in your face. Now Hooters fell off. Instagram I don't killed get- Hooters. Yeah, yeah. But, but the Tilted Kilt is one where they, they wear schoolgirl uniforms. Yeah. And they yeah. come, you're like, so that's what it's all the, the same with Twin Peaks. Her body was yeah. so sexy. But all those Aaliyah. places, that was a big Twin thing Peaks, of Hooters, all those places, the talent has dropped significantly since uh, Instagram came out. Yeah, because you go right to the money, source. Yeah, sell fifty. And you guess, don't have to walk around. Yeah, shoot fries. gummy bears that help your hair. Exactly. And yeah, you yeah, make yeah. fucking yeah, seventy. Teeth whitening. Oh. Yeah, yeah. They're and just you can merchants. Supplemental income. Did yeah, you know yeah. how many girl? I, when I go on that Shush Time site, they're still in sales. They're just not leaving the house. I go on the Shush Time site every day. How many girls who they they always do like they're exposed something like holy shit that famous youtuber uh, does porn and it's always like you can just track it back it goes she's been doing webcam shit forever and then just did youtube like it got big you know how to just like talking to like how to date guys and how to get guys to do whatever and then it's like oh and they also have a thing of them sucking cock and having three what's this the, is a youtube chick that was into what's this? the chick uh the bean uh lena the plug oh i know lena yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but she's like a youtube lena Lena the plug, yeah, 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 but she is just getting herself getting fucked sixteen That's different ways. That's her boyfriend, ways. Adam. No, but she doesn't sit with girls. Too. No, I know, but I'm just putting and my then, like, yeah, they'll, as, like they'll fuck them together. But she does it still. She has like a, a private Snapchat. Oh, oh really? Sure. And yeah. she fucks. And yeah, she goes, and, and she'll like you know can you bring this girl up? But I'm saying, but it's always presented where it's like, holy shit, that YouTuber, ah, they're, like they're exposing yeah. it. But what does she look like? They play right into it. Oh, she got a thick one. Yeah. yeah, she got a little fat. Oh, she's not. And she is. She might be too thick for you, Lou. She is an animal. <laughs> yeah. It's too much black in her. And she fuck. She likes to fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she like brings other girls in. She likes fucking other girls. So she brings other. You girls know her as a, per- as a person. Yeah, yeah. And, and I know wolf. Adam. Like he's he's been on the podcast. I've done his podcast. Adam has like a podcast called No Jumper. That's okay. her boyfriend. And that's her boyfriend. Yeah. And like uh, he interviews like uh, like young and upcoming rappers, like SoundCloud rappers. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it became the oh shit yeah they're going at it I guess right yeah yeah so you can see Adam pounding away too. Good for well, him. Let's see your buddy Adam fucking her. Yeah, if she's getting fucked by a dude, that's it's usually it's Adam. It's Austin. Adam. Yeah, that's a good that's a good uh, deal to have because right. It's, it's I mean it's basically your deal, right? Like, what? Like you can bang you guys bring on webcams? Up, no, no, not on webcams. But no, but you, you can fuck someone private. else. She just got to be there to supervise. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. I don't know why girls. I mean, I've, I, so many relationships would be together today if girls would get over the cheating thing. Yeah. Oh, and wow. That's a pr- yeah. It's, of course. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, the, it, it's the one hang up, right? What else is like? What else is there? So it's you're very, it's very, be- it's very hard to find somebody. I think for a lot of guys. I'm sorry, Dan. Um, no, go, go it's very uh, to. 
explain to people though that like or to a, a woman who's d- lacks that sense of security which is because guys cheat and stuff like that that they get insecure sure, so sure. it's kind of like every problem feeds the next yeah but it's very hard to describe like yeah i want to fuck 17 people that are on this floor right now probably yeah. i go it's just that like, i want to like fuck and also watch tv with you it's hard well, for them to that's understand a, that's it a big part of the thing i think yeah i think like they assume that we have the same you know um goals in a relationship that they do you yeah. know whereas like i think when when we enter a relationship we're really giving up everything what do you mean like if i enter a relationship my that's whole too, life, i think that's too if, if you're, if you're saying what it, i think uh, i think it's just a little too like I, they, think, I think there's a lot of guys who get in a relationship because they, they're not, it's not raining pussy on them, so like, well, I'll take yeah, a relationship. Right, they'll sure. take it, right? It's something they'll settle for. It's not like the dream, right? The dream would be like, yo, it's raining pussy and I can fuck everything. Sure. Right, but any guy, let's say the guy does have his choice of a certain amount of girls. He's agreeing to a relationship, yeah. right? Like, we're agreeing to these rules of a relationship. A girl's not agreeing. She's like, finally, I got what I've always wanted since I was a kid. I get married. I have a family. Mm-hmm. I want one guy to fuck me. You but know, I've seen chicks, like, struggle with, like, monogamy. monogamy? Sure. Yeah, those chicks are fucked. They're ruined. Like their bodies. <laughs> right. they're, they're broken. They're There's broken. no saving. They're broke. Like all Put them back in the parties. bin, dude. These like sex parties. I got. Date, I went on a date once with this girl who's like she was into this like sex party uh, world and shit like that. And then like so half, how how far into it was she? Like, halfway, was it, she goes and that's where she well, like regularly happens. or like yeah, once she was a year. In it. She had a man while we went on this date and I was like, what are we even doing here? Wait, what? Yeah, and then like she was told she me, hot. She was hot and then she told me she got raped and shit. Right. Oh, okay. And um and then it started to make sense. All this like sex parties. They're like super big on consent and all this kind of stuff and all this sex party shit is like all these people have done with not all of them but a majority have had like some fucked up sexual past and the way they're trying to deal with it is belittling the act of sex so if sex means nothing yeah then that thing that happened to me that was really bad wasn't also deal. means nothing so, you so they're just trying to convince themselves so they're trying to treat so basically you're saying these sex parties they treat fucking like finger foods or they go maybe I'll have a little maybe I won't <laughs> basically, it's not yeah. a big there's deal there's no calories if it's small yeah. I don't know <laughs> but I think I've had this conversation with Christine too uh, I think like sex it's the it's what are you looking for from it yeah by how important it should be as an act and i mean that i think if you're looking for like man i just want to feel good for a couple of hours of being safe from doing blah 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 like fuck the fuck don't worry about it padding numbers or it's i think for a woman or a man like am i fucking too many people am i not you know whatever that oh, is we're bad too don't get me wrong no, no, but i'm just saying like i'm saying in something like that where you, but it's if you're fucking frivolously the same amount of somebody who has that emotion, if you're fucking frivolously, it's because, like, I just don't want to be alone. I want somebody to care about you're me. You're fucking yeah, to feel yeah. good. You're fucking frivolous. No, I'm saying if you're doing it for those reasons, I think then it is, like, detrimental to you. Sure. I think if you're fucking, because every night you're kind of like, oh, then I guess this guy won't call again, or maybe he will, or whatever, or whatever it, thing th- you're... There's so many dudes, myself included, I'm sure we've all been in the position, like, if I fuck that girl, that means I'm funny. That means I'm smart. That means yeah, I'm charming. Well, it means sure. you're wanted. I'm wanted, right? I yeah. just It's the crowd. Yeah. If I kill, that means I'm funny. That's, it's funny you bring that up because I've been recently... I, I told Jay, it's like, I'm not... Fucking in front of crowds? I'm, I fuck in front of crowds now. That's all I do. It's the only way I can get it up. I need at least 20 to 30 people in uh, Ackland. <laughs> Village Lantern. See you there yeah. Thursday. Guys, it's a real thing. We nice might get rhythm, sh- white boy. We might get shut down by the city, but get down there while we can. It's going to get real. No, what but, happened? But I'm saying, like, um, I think with my fucking like intimacy issues or, or ability to connect to people is because I've probably my my life had sex a majority of the time for that like okay this is yeah I want to have sex with her but also I'm wanted and I'm uh, this means I'm funny and that kind of thing so now I told Jay it's like I kind of want to just stop having sex with anybody until I'm in a relationship which is the first time I've done this since like high school because yeah. as a guy you're programmed to be like if I'm get, if women want to have sex with me have sex with me yeah. and I think it just kind of fucking pushed me away from the ability to actually connect to a but person. that's dangerous too well, though the- because i don't know about you but me like i can think i really like a girl i'll have sex with her and then just nope yeah so what i want to do now is make sure i'm in and i like her but how do you know until you nut well, i don't know if until i'm, I'm being lied I, to until i nut absolutely yeah. but i think if, by yourself if, by myself i'm catfishing <laughs> me oh no and i get that. my balls catfish i mean me. do you know how many times i've told J- jay that my ex-girlfriends tell great stories i mean i've done that i've done that a lot the last one was where he goes oh man she's really funny she says all yeah. that. I'm like, Bro, so listen so, we're like baby mamas right like yeah. while we're with the guy he's like the sweetest and cigarette that fat motherfucker yeah, i'm like this stupid bitch trying to tell me a story but i get i understand what you're that makes sense to me in your realm what i 
like what I said. What I'm saying is, I'm sorry, just the last thing is, I'm I I'm not ignoring the nut. I'm saying that's the one of the last things to check off if I like a girl. Like, all right, now nah, you know you're smart because I gotta I gotta I've been putting it up top and being like, is the fuck is, okay? The fuck's great, and then I'm like, well, I'm in it now. We're having sex now. I'm kind of owe them this relationship. But don't you feel it's it's kind of like judging food when you're starving? Kind of, maybe a little bit. In that like regard, every well, girl's every girl's a delicious meal when you haven't eaten in a week. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like you drop rice in Somalia, they're they're dying for it. You drop rice, you know, right outside. You see of, James Franco you know, drink that water after he cut his arm off to get out of that mountain. Yeah, like, it was the most delicious of waters. <laughs> I mean, yeah. he drank so much, but it was the best. It probably tasted oh. like Sprite Zero. Oh, yeah, which is really good. Uh, it is good. It tastes exactly like regular Sprite. That's why I like it. <laughs> what were you gonna um, say? That? Yes, I was gonna say. Oh, that's a cool thing about. I think the uniqueness of. Even kind of me and Christine's thing, what is it with that built-in boundary? I get why you're doing what you're doing because you're a single guy. So every girl you fucking stays over or something like that. There's just some sort of like you feel no matter what, some sense of obligation. At one thousand percent, you also yeah. feel some 100%. sense of just like I don't now. There's I don't want to feel feel shitty. Sense. It's great when the lines are drawn so yeah. sh- firm on like, well, this is fucking and fu- and, and by the way. I, I think some of the people we fuck are are, are, are are cool, are really cool. I like them a lot. They're, I'd call them like friends to some degree. You yeah. know what I mean? But it's uh, but there's no there's no boundary cross because it's just Christine. It's kind of like having so, her on the show. It's like a having her she's doing like a your show. Full, she's like your fullback. But it's not even a blogger. She's it's your just, fail it's just, safe. It's like well, the big fear people, when, they just when understand. we have sex with girls, I'm sure, is if it if we don't like that girl, then we're racked with guilt. Oh, my yep. God. How do I tell her? Am I going to hurt her feelings? Yep. I don't want to do this. But you have this great excuse like, oh, I got a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I listen, She's sitting right with you? She's right yeah, there. I live with that girl. My thing, my, my brain works. I'd be less likely to... I wish to I had fu- a girlfriend so I could tell girls <laughs> I'd be that. less oh. likely to fuck a chick like wh- wh- that, that doesn't know... Like anything about the show and Christine, I, I I think I have a more a likely chance of a girl wanting who knows the situation. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, th- I think you're there's you're saying a, the girl with a mindset that knows the situation goes in with more of an open mind. Because the girl doesn't know and goes like, "Do you have a girlfriend?" I always say, "Yeah." I always yeah, say, no, "Yeah." Has a girl ever tried to creep in? Yeah, sure. Ooh, well, you have to snuff a bit. It, it, it's not even, and not even necessarily <laughs> just Christine's with Jay. Talking. Just a thing where, like, the girls get a little. It, it, there's been situations where it's become a little too intimate. It's become a little too close. They've started arguing with Jay. Where I'm like, why are That's, you arguing with my mean, boyfriend? It was a particular one. It was Ooh. one particular was person where it was just like it was just. No, too, no, no, no. She's not saying that. She was just saying it was just too. It was too. Uh, too close to home. Every day in our world, yeah, that was the problem. And just also, coming over, like, like, what's up, fart? What's up? What's <laughs> up, asshole? <laughs> we also need to. have have, it's like the the boundaries because it should be up to us whether or not these girls are like out in our world and if you're fucking somebody that's in your world you have no control over what they're invited to and what they're not so ah, they so can just see show up all the want. time yeah i see so you can't be fucking the legion of skanks fans no <sighs> That's no, where we it can't. Gets no, 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 that's not the problem at all. No, that no, we can't. No, do. more like you can't fuck comics. Can't yeah. fuck yeah, people. That, you know, okay, first of all, there's who been producers. Wants to fuck comics. <laughs> there's been producers yeah. that have shown interest and in stuff, and it's just kind of like a line where you go, like, well, I don't want to feel weird about working with somebody because I fucked them. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you have to worry about maybe booking I, them for yeah, things. Yeah, I do, and, and it's a, a little bit of a different dynamic, and then especially you're with just like, gonna eat my pussy and not bring me on bonfire. <laughs> and I <laughs> think that Jay, I think girls will kind of because they want a, yeah, a young comic up, that wants man. to hang out with Jay might yeah. even like put sex out there a little bit as a way in, oh. and then they don't actually want to fuck. They actually want Jay to sit down and have you know an hour long mentorship conversation. Are you <laughs> saying that women will manipulate men with their vagina? Impossible. They will I don't and to this. try to. I don't Gain favors from this? Stop Dude, we it. Were, Stop I was it. Opening. Stop what it. in the Weinstein are you telling me right this now? Salem Witch Trials. Salem sure. Witch Trials. <laughs> I was opening the door. I was opening the door one night, and the girl said to me and Christine, she goes, I just, she's like, I want to, like, have you guys. I just want to, you know, you to take me, like, seriously, though, ultimately, as a comedian. And I went, I swear to you, I went, oh, you're a comedian? I had no idea who that, I'm like, what? no. I goes, yeah. I go, what do you want me to do? Like, no. If that's, like, I'm like, just split if that's like a thing i go yeah. i don't know and I, I go i go how long have you been doing it for she was like like almost a year i was like i, I won't won't take you seriously yeah. as a comedian that's yeah. why I, <laughs> like, with I, all due respect I, I would never do that i'm for like why would i yeah, take yeah. you seriously how i'm like just yeah. do your thing that's got nothing to do with this well, yeah we've name? never told anyone that's that, her like, instagram will help you with comedy if you fuck us and i think if a girl was expecting that from us out of a fuck it's like well then you're being shitty to us but could you imagine how much pussy you could get if you did <laughs> oh yeah by the way guys we're gonna have some real 
lackluster guests the next two weeks. Let's take our uh, last break here. We're hanging out with Andrew Schultz. He's going to be at Gotham Comedy Club in New York City this weekend, Friday, April 13th, and Saturday, April 14th. Get tickets for that and all Andrew shows at theandrewshulz.com. It's S-C-H-U-L-Z, theandrewshulz.com. Uh, we'll be right back, everyone. It's the bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Stay out of my room, Rick! <laughs> Stay out of my fucking room! I know you're fucking my mom, then go fuck her then! I don't know, dude, but you're not my dad, and I can smoke <laughs> cigarettes I'm 17! <laughs> It's the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Series XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson, our guest joining us. You can catch him at Gotham Comedy Club this Friday and Saturday. The Andrew Scholes, everybody. He's also at theandrewscholes.com. That works out well. Yo, I uh, I wanted to tell you, I, I was supposed to text you, but I saw an episode of um, of Billions. Oh. And I'd, I'd never seen the show. I knew that you were on it. I congratulated you yeah. for being on it, obviously. But... Uh, and it was really good, man. I saw the one where he kept on getting spanked, the uh, BDSM episode. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or is that a common theme throughout? Uh, they do. Uh, P- Paul Giamatti and Maggie Siff do it a couple times throughout okay. the series. That's, but, uh, how, like, that's was, their kink. That's their kink, yeah. That's yeah, their kink. They were, they were like in a boardroom also, and it was when the uh, the chick with the buzzed head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Ma- uh, Taylor. Taylor Yo, Mason. You want to know a funny story about that? Yeah. So what's the guy's name uh, who uh, talks in a comic's name? Well, he's in the show as well. He talks in a kind of high voice, really sweet Really sweet guy. Joe Mackey? No, he's kind of like a little bit turned down Joe Mackey. Good uh, storyteller. Uh, he's had a bunch of specials about... Uh, oh, Mike Birbiglia. Yeah, Mike Birbiglia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so Mike was telling us, he was like, yeah, I was in, you know, doing the show and I... Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I think you're going to give a spoiler away. Oh, I can't say anything. Yeah, my you can't bad. say because oh, yeah. it hasn't happened was on the last show. Season. Yeah, no, 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 no. It okay, was when I'm he was not filming. Say anything. Yeah, yeah. Okay, my bad, my bad. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll be back to tell a funny yeah. story. <laughs> Wait, so because I know exactly what you're talking about. Stop me, Jesus! I went like, oh, sorry. I went like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bruce well, Willis was dead the whole time. It was just, it was that girl Taylor. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, this is a spoiler. This is a spoiler. I just saw the episode where she gets put in control. Yeah, yeah. That that was the one. Yeah, yeah. Our axe gives over. control. Control. But that BDSM thing is interesting because, like, oh man, I, I don't. You, you ever like not want to know you're into some shit? Uh, you're talking about the scene oh, sure. where, yeah, where where she had him tied about a finger up, in my butt. and then, she was and then he the was dude like that she facts. fucked. But but she was talking about the dude she fucked. <laughs> she talking about and, the young dude that she fucked. Yeah, and, and like that she got dude, she there, cheated on him. With. Dude, there was one night I was in Atlantic City or something. I don't know where I, was, I forget where I was, but uh, I had my girl with me, and I thought that my girl was kind of like eyeing up some other guy. And I would, and it kind of made me feel really insecure. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But dude, that insecurity gave me. And I'm on Propecia. It gave me the hardest erection I'd had in like five years, and like I really fucked her that night. Absolutely, and I, I and fully I, get that. Dude, yeah, because it's like it's almost primal. It's almost like this is my yeah territory. My lady, my lady, my owner, my lady. I've asked Christina. I have asked Christina if she misses bigger dicks while we're fucking. Yeah. Yeah. So is this a, so? My fear is that I you know let myself that go into cock? it too much. <laughs> then I'm a natural cock. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, but, but I don't want to be. I don't. You I'm, get I'm off not, on that. I'm not any kind of hit. I'm not in any kind of like pain stuff in no, any way. No, just mental. The idea mental. of her being yeah, with somebody yeah. and liking it more than you. Why is that a fucking kernel? Absolutely. Because what it is is it goes back, to, like, we're not that far off it evolutionary-wise from being fucking animals. Like, yeah, yeah. we're sitting here talking, having a conversation or whatever. Yeah. But we still have, like, primal knowledge. Yeah, there's, like, primal things. You know what's this thing that uh, Stanhope said when he was hammered on the show that really has stuck with me is he said his ex-wife said <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> that uh, love is 90% smell. Yeah. And you don't think about that, but like, dude, I've met girls on apps who are gorgeous, and I've met up with them, and I'm like, what the fuck? I'm not into this <laughs> at all. Something like the <laughs> breath, <laughs> like their breath is 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 so bad to you in a way that you're like, I bet the world doesn't think this is bad yeah, breath. I bet it's just like, hitting me. You know, maybe we're overthinking this whole like mating shit. You know what I mean? Maybe no, Matt, I think you're supposed to go with like. Yeah. Bah, bah, yeah. Bah, like, <laughs> Remember, I said you earlier the weed that weed sherpa guy yeah. told me that he goes, you pick the weed that's going to work for you. He goes, smell it all. He goes, the one that smells good to you, even if you're not a weed guy. Is the one you've probably smoked, dude. Like smell, but it's also it's yeah. What were you well, saying? I was gonna say we've had things where it's like we actually stopped doing this, where maybe we made a plan with somebody, like a definite plan with dude. somebody to fuck that we hadn't met yet, 
and then you get into it and it's not even that the girl's necessarily unattractive or anything like that it's just like I'm not into this like I don't want to Chemistry's fuck off. this girl the chemistry's not there oh, I've had that I've had a girl that I was like Christine liked that I wasn't into before I and, I, like and, I, and I think it's I think it's layered and I think it's uh, I think there's a lot of context to it but I think like you 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 love your girl you're attracted to your girl yeah. and you have the feeling of oh that girl's my girl's more attracted to that guy well fuck that I need to go in overdrive and be a, like you know come oh on. there's definitely that's definitely yeah. element of, but you know Sarah McPants tweeted here and I, I like this because I want to say I am I am no cunt at all uh, when it comes to this because I this is I'm for all people choosing their own relationship boundaries as long as everyone is happy but a lot of guys seem to think open should only go their way absolutely yeah, Christine sure. I'm in the chicks Christine's in the uh, to chicks also that's why I yeah, but you lucked no, out no, no but here's yeah. how it works no but I think Christine I think we've had if Christine wanted to fuck somebody it's like I'm gonna try fucking somebody else besides you like I think she thinks you can have a conversation with me about that I don't think I'm like fucking I well, think that's more I, with the I freedoms that I would want I would like, I would be like I think, that's what to her I yeah talk about I think that. it's more on me than you I think if I came to Jane and nah. like hey I wanna fuck a guy and I want you to like be there for I think he'd be like Listen, great me and Christine this love what each other say to you, he'd be like, is he gonna be hanging around at the creek in a cake <laughs> for, well, is he gonna be having brunch at the stand cause I don't wanna be in the same space it's a small no. space yeah. Probably, no, certainly she wouldn't do that but I'm saying what not anybody we know. Or <laughs> Certainly, she would never disrespect well, me in that one. Well, I think for all, I think for all of it, I would never goes, see this guy. I'm open for open boundaries, but not being slapped in the fucking face. <laughs> well, I think that's what we all agree. I think yeah. it's, I think that's Christine's thing too. I think yeah. even like in a respectful way of, uh, you know, I think that if Jay were gonna fuck somebody. Uh, you know, call it behind my back. Call it. You find out about it out. Whatever it is, I don't see Jay like doing it with somebody that would embarrass me. Here's a no. question, right? We. Um, we like when when you're going through your period or whatever like that. I don't know if you have it bad, but there are certain girls like I've dated that it's like awful. It's like and for that you yeah. know few days, it's like literally brutal. They're keeled over. They're on like pain medication the whole time, and I put up with anything that they throw out at me during those three days if they're in a bad mood, whatever. Like I just understand that's a physical thing they can't help. Yeah, right. That's fair enough. It's nature. It's nature. So what if our physical thing that we can't help is our balls? Is one our balls and also nobody else's balls by you? So, if we have no problem putting up the, with the period, maybe you should just let us fuck, <laughs> fuck the guys. Uh, I like that's well, a that's I, a true salesman. And he goes, "What if I can get you that Mitsubishi <laughs> under Kelly Blue Book?" <laughs> Who's Kelly? <laughs> they go, Good question. Now, let's, um, let's get you signed I like the board. theorem of that. But, uh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if we're giving away certain liberties well, to nature, because, why don't we get a nature liberty? Because I think it'd be like, uh, like for a woman, I, I, and I'm not going to speak, Christine obviously can speak to this, but I'm saying, like, I don't think a woman, that's too much of a beneficial on our end. Yeah. Where you're like, you're like, call that my ball period. That when yeah. I see a set well, of could you say for three, for three days, or, or for three or five days a month, you get to fuck whoever you yeah. want. Dude, I'll give you three days. Just yeah. the heavy days. That's a heavy... The, just they, my heavy ball days. They, I get to fuck heavy ball day. I mean, I I'm going to have leave. to go relieve these. No, I think, yeah. if you're, I think if you're asking for it to be... And depending on the, 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 the lengths you're ready to go, if you go... Uh, Under six we're, inches. We're only gonna fuck. We're only gonna fuck people in the same room together. Only like girls. Yeah. yeah. And you like girls, and I like girls. I understand the boundary being for good for everybody. <laughs> Yo, like but just you girls. You would never want that same energy. You would never say to her, "Listen, you can fuck other guys, but I have to be I in the room watching." No, you're right. I wouldn't. It wouldn't be that I have to be in the room. No, for sure. So I'm saying if she, if that was her. Like thing, like I want to start maybe like well, other also, guys once in a while. Is it if she presented to me, I would definitely like hear and, hear it out. And no also, <laughs> men are men, men are more. <laughs> yeah, I like, no, no, but also, men are, men are more visual. Like women would be hurt if you did it behind their back because that's an emotional thing. And you're like, you went and you cheated for them watching. I don't really know if it affects you as much as like if you see your girl fucking another dude. You're like, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill both of you. Ah, double murder. No, I get it. I get Bro, it. My, no ex, my ex girlfriend. When I was younger, me and my ex girlfriend did a couple swap thing and like uh, nah, and like I got. It. Okay. I got you, it weren't, sure. you weren't angry and didn't want to... Listen, here's, a, here's what it comes down to. It's got to be this, for sure. Yeah. And as, and me and Christine fight like cats and dogs, but for certain she knows, and I've said it publicly a plenty of times, like, I love her. So Christine's like my chick, like, I'm saying, if the Sixers play a playoff game this Sunday and i got to spend a bajillion dollars on fucking tickets to go, uh, Christine's going. Yeah. Dude, I got mad at her yesterday because I made a joke about seeing if she's maybe going to come to the Netflix thing, and she was like... Uh, she was really kind of took it, and then I got angry at her because I'm like, "You weren't mad. I was just kidding. Like, of course you're coming you're to my taping." Is. I'm like, "What are you fucking nuts?" Oh, congrats on Netflix, and man! I didn't like, know. Oh, thank you, man. Thank yeah. you so much. Bravo! It's a, congrats. Yeah, brother. And the uh, 
We're doing, doing dirty, do, dirty, dirty half hours. Oh, have we not said on this show? I don't yeah, think we have it. Oh, I've said it. Oh, yeah. I, I got a one of the. They're doing the stand ups like a dirty version of it. Yeah. Half Season hours three on Netflix. Of the yeah. Baby. Thank you, everybody. Be an, uh, Amazing. Good but, she, but she was Sinful like full Las Vegas. She sat back almost, which is kind of like, I guess we'll have to figure out if I can go. I'm like, what are you fucking kidding me? I thought it was. I didn't think it was. I thought it was like a work thing. Like maybe we'd have to figure it out. But I definitely. I always want to be there for Jay's things. <laughs> Jay goes, oh, you know, West Coast girlfriends coming to that one. I've never. Uh, I've never <laughs> thought about. <laughs> uh, I've never thought about shooing off Christine for other pussy or something. Like that. I've just never. Yeah. So get, it's like get out of here. Yeah, but that's, that's like the true. Do you have enough of a sex drive? for that shit like I don't even know I would love yeah. to cheat but like the idea of having a fuck that much would, would be a burden I think I could fuck a chick or I, I could, you do if, sex if it, every day if it was for sure the sleepover would be that's what would be ticky tack for me ticky tack but fucking I could fuck uh, you can have sex more than once a day yeah, I can. I, I, I really don't. Especially with new pussy. Well, like, new pussy, I definitely yeah, can. But, but not even that. Oh, are we talking new pussy? <laughs> 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 new pussy is like a goal. New pussy is different. But I could fuck. Well, fuck well I that's could, what I said with me. I would me. fuck a, I, I, I could fuck a... And when I travel on the road, if I fucked a chick a weekend, yeah, for sure. Are you talking to Jay in the fuck machine? Fuck machine? What? Are you talking to Jay Ogers in the fuck machine? Oh, I didn't know Jay Ogers in the fuck machine. Oh, yeah, he's Philadelphia fuck machine. Oh, you didn't realize... Oh, you probably... I get it, Andrew. You didn't realize you are talking about a fuck machine. I get it. I just didn't know you are talking to the Philadelphia fuck machine. I'm sorry. Listen, I mean, I'd give you a break, but you do walk into this man's dojo and you're talking to Philadelphia fuck machine. Philadelphia fuck machine. Uh, what yeah, if, that's. What if, I don't have that sex drive. I have maybe like uh, three. I have three to four dickens a week. Good dickens. Oh, absolutely. and I'll throw you like one or two real. Oh, listen, light, uh, and they got to be early sauce. now too. Like I'm not doing four four a.m. dickens. No, four oh, I do a lot of four a.m. Shut down two a.m. Sure. dickens. Yeah, I t- I've told girls. I've told girls coast, now. West Coast last call time. Two. Yeah, I go. I'm asleep by two. And they're like, what do you mean? I'm like, no, no, no. We're going to sleep by two, so yeah. everything has to happen prior. To we got it. We have to have the Absolutely. cool down. We have to have no. the landing. We I have, have, to have a the... full cup of water next to my bedside table by yeah. one fifty three. Yeah, and I then I'm love... in bed asleep by I would, two. I would love to do a late night email checkup and then hit the. Set. Oh, I got to take the phone away, Dan. Are you crazy? All that screen time at night. I'm yeah. not going to go to bed. My head's going to be all jumbled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I love I love responsible coxmen. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're reformed. Uh, yeah. Listen, we reformed. used to be young savages back in yeah. the day. We oh man, 20s, when I was, I was but... talking to Norman about it today when I. I used to drink. I was like, man, I really was just a piece of shit. Yes. And, and now I'm like, oh, I think we should probably have a little bit of a connection before we lay in bed together. <laughs> Back in the day, I was like, Will you? I got laid at the Xerox season two yeah. premiere. You remember that? Where mm-hmm. I, yeah, I banged I'm, the cocktail waitress. I was all sloppy. I, I was like, I'm not uh, ass all tattooed up. I'm like, come to Queens. I'm not, I, my sex drive isn't. My hunt drive is zilch. Zilch. Mm. It's zilch. So, but it would be nice to finish a show like once a weekend and just have some a new pretty girl be like like hey what are you doing now yeah. and like you know like give give it 3 4 hours of time okay. total you know what i mean from like hang to fuck and yeah. call it a night that's the other thing that i enjoy doing talking before fucking yeah. Like if I'm gonna have a girl come, I over, think I've looked back at it all into being hand jobby things I've said. I'm, I'm sure it's not always, but I feel like it spends the whole time going like that was. Uh, so anyway, that's when I opened up for so and so at this awesome theater. Anyways, and, uh, <laughs> what are your as- what are your aspirations? <laughs> yeah, the talking before sex. You yeah, enjoy? Just like, let's like hang out a little bit. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, for like, sure. That's what I'm saying. Be a good hang. Oh, if you're a good hang, you'll get more than one decade. Well, I'm also Guaranteed. not. I'm not. I'm not a go for it. I've actually didn't, didn't think. I'll talk a chick's ear off until she physically attacks me to fuck because yeah. shut you she's up? like, please God, stop. I, I was like, what are you doing? I mean, Why I have we been we here for so like long? Eight hours before we fucked the first. Oh, yeah. It was that's like a, a crazy, not that's, eight, but, but like. Are, it was long. It was, it, was, it was four or five hours. Four or five but it's hours. Also, but it's also a relationship, and that's like when you know you were. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not, I don't want to fuck somebody until I want to talk to them for eight hours and then fuck. Yeah. Because a lot of times the people I've been meeting, I'm like, talk to you for 30 minutes, and if this ain't happening, I'm out. I got a fucking game of Madden at home. Yeah, but Christine was more coming into like a situation of like someone I was going to be dating. It, wasn't, saying, it wasn't like a girl was going to like fuck. Re- regardless like, of the situation, yeah. it was also that you guys were attracted enough to talk that much and get along that well and then there's like tension and the tension builds and it's like, yeah, I, I, that's... You and know. it explodes on Dan. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Do you ever fuck girls by yourself? I did once... You had a good time. Yeah, I had a good time. She had, she had she got a uh, I'd be em- okay with that. She got empty ball syndrome though cuz uh, when it was she after it right was over she said like, she just felt bad. She goes, "Oh, I felt bad then that you weren't there as soon as it was over." And oh, I was you like, needed ah, a nut. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, well, yeah, it, it was like a 
it, it feels more like foreplay than sex. When yeah, it's just yeah. A girl because no I'm not a le- I'm, a, I'm attracted to a woman, but I'm Fri- not fries. lesbian. You got yeah. fries for dinner. Yeah, <laughs> so it's yeah. a little. But there's an interesting thing just about like all the. There's something about yeah. fucking with when you're Cold in a relationship fries. where there are these clear lines of like you're putting out exactly what you want from the other person. It, there is something animalistic about it. There's something fun as a woman where yeah. if I think about the idea of like fucking other men, I go, well, I have a man. I got and a I'm man. not looking for a relationship. I'm not looking for a husband. I'm yeah. not looking for anybody to take care of me. So there's something interesting to the idea of being able to be promiscuous just for sex yeah. just to get laid just yeah. to have fun fucking well it yes, does keep it primal I mean. it keeps but, it primal to the sense of like and no, it this is the, just what it is it's just sex it takes do you guys away do anything of people it takes away of anything with the, uh, what do you mean of like, course we do, do you guys stuff. like do you get your buddy then uh yeah 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 absolutely for sure I was get gonna your say I'm not really your super- butt eaten Lick, your, oh, butt. Like, oh, yeah. Lick butt? Lick, lick, lick butt. butt. Yeah, sure. No, but get it licked. Your own butt. I've got my. I just got yeah. mine licked recently. You just it. got it licked. How'd you feel about it? Oh, man. It was really good. Yeah. yeah. Really? Dude, it's it was I was going really like this. Good. I'm not a fan of it from... I'm not a fan of it from behind. No. No, dude. That's crazy. You look wow. like a tiger. <laughs> Listen. I go like this. Ah. Thundercats! Ah. If I could paint ah. a picture here... I look like if the I'm castle do- to the I might be doing later. something to uh, a girl... Uh, like all, kind of like on my like knees, like you know, going down on a girl maybe, and my butt is naked and in the air, and that approach is weird. To okay, me. no, yeah, dude, that- you got to lift the leg up like you're doing a backflip, laying on my back, yeah. like doggy style. No, Dog- like, like, me, like me being doggy, doggy style, style, getting my butt licked feels weird. It yeah, because your back's all, all arched. It's just it's uncomfortable. Just, uh, it's a feminine it's a position. But, yeah. Yes, if blowing, <laughs> Dude, me, even, like, blowing me while I'm laying in that position. Th- blowing me while I'm laying down yeah. and then go... Oh, yeah. And then that, go that's the, I think but you got to lift the leg, That's right? the gentleman's yeah, yeah. way. Open the door. I got my bed is my where my head of my bed is is right yeah. next to a, a giant like window opening you put your leg up I got my leg up on the wall <laughs> that's great dude. <laughs> why do you think Christine's laughing the wall marks <laughs> how oh, dude, you gotta oh, take a picture of the are, wall marks are you wondering are you wondering how she was able to get to my butthole that yeah, way how was she if it sounds impossible it does but, uh, how, oh, do you, how do you have that information you strike uh, me as one of those big flexible guys Dan it's because we were uh Inverted. That <laughs> <laughs> oh, was like a good Tom Gunn. Oh, Tom Dude, that's Gunn. so great that when you're renting the room, you go, I think we could put the bed here. Puts his leg up on him. He goes, perfect. We'll take it. We'll it take is good. Place. It works out. We'll take that the thing place. works out. For um, sure. That, that windowsill has been really big for my butthole. I've always uh, I've always tensed up and been like, nah, why don't we not go to the butt? But yeah. I think in my 30s, you know, maybe if, if I meet a girl and she becomes my girlfriend and she wants to try to lick my butt, yeah. You know, Andrew started to bring it. it up earlier, and that was the thing about the things you don't know you like. Maybe I'm into it. Saying, but that's, because I because I know, know I like but it, because I know that's Because I know it's happened to me so much that I don't know if I like this, and it's like, oh, wow, I fucking actually Love like it. this. It's I, like, yeah, it's like trying foods that you like. But that's why I, I think I like asparagus. Oh, but if that's no, how you're... you went with something normal, <laughs> we were going exotic. You went crickets. I was like, you travel. But if you genuinely feel that way, I think if you genuinely have that feeling, yeah, uh, then you that you don't understand why I was like, if Christine was like, yeah, I really want to try fuck another guy, where I'd go like, yeah, I get it, of course, yeah. yeah. I guess like, man, I, I would talk you would, about it for you sure. You would be like, case dismissed. I wouldn't be like, yeah, it's like, wait, fuck that, no, 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 because I also by the way, thing. also I think if you do that, nah, dude, you're setting She's yourself up. You're just yeah. setting yourself up for being now. It's kind of like that, that, that resentment builds. Like, yeah. when I tell me I can't even though I was I came to you and said I wanted to do this don't I think try it's... it Christine <laughs> don't try it he's being Mr. Nice Guy now I think Christine would back me up that, uh, do you believe that do you believe he what goes, I'm saying to be true he goes right he's flinching he goes <laughs> but if Christine ever asked me right she would <laughs> no, uh, so do, do you think I, I don't think, think, think she would you don't want to fuck another guy right? <laughs> <laughs> right. anyway don't right? I, listen I don't. think it sucks that promiscuity within your relationship is like looked down upon in a way that like lying and cheating to your partner isn't like people are so comfortable just doing whatever they're going to do on their own and not exploring their sexuality with their partner I honestly I'm like why are we pretending like monogamy is the way to go yeah. like why are we pretending like that's what leads to successful What's the way relationships to go for, for you it can be it can be some people genuinely don't give people, a shit and a lot of a lot if of people if you show lie. me an animal where the man is or the, where the woman is polyamorous and the man is monogamous you'll fuck it I will fuck I also, I do, you know what I'm saying? Like, I pay attention to the fact that, like, I don't want to get pregnant and not know that it's 
Jay's kid. Exactly. Okay, but Christine, how great of a live bonfire would that be? <laughs> it's get- black. Yeah. <laughs> blue. Yeah. Yeah. blue. Christine made the list, which makes sense because he's Armenian. You can't, get pregnant on, you can't get pregnant on your face. I yeah. want a little Northwest. <laughs> yeah, a little Northwest Armenian black baby. I will say, you know what's bullshit? You know how like girls say that uh, your the male G spot is up your butthole? That's not true. Yeah, I feel like just gay dudes made that up, or yeah, like prostate. women the made that. It's like a real thing. Yeah, but I don't think the prostate makes you nut. You can't. It, it's there's you can't a guy do dildoing his butt, and he comes. Yeah, yeah. I don't you can find it. That video. We are, we are <laughs> no, I don't need to see that. All I'm uh, saying is like, oh, it's my screensaver. Dan, call me. Okay. Doesn't it? Okay. If Dan calls me, it's what plays when he calls me. But doesn't that seem like marketing? Doesn't it seem like some shit so they oh, can just throw their fingers in our it ass? Does, it does seem sneaky. But so you've never you have had a finger in like, No, I've had a tongue lick around it and I probably would have let the tongue penetrate a little bit, but the fingers in the ass, that's a little much just because like now you've got something on me. If you're worried about how you're gonna feel about it, yeah. don't do it. Because it's good. <laughs> how far are you going? Oh, I'm sure Christine probably buries the needle, I'd have to say if you were in there. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. I mean you probably definitely <laughs> You just Joey Lawrence, Lawrence choked. <laughs> Yo, was wait just a like, minute. What? To the webbing? I well, think down to the, the air, prostate. down to the webbing. Although she's part amphibian, so her webs are pretty high up. Yeah. <laughs> it's only half finger. It's a normal half finger. It's a bit of a flipper arm. Is it because that's just like a, a gay, like it's like you think it's like a gay You can't action? tell Charlemagne the God you got a finger in your booty hole? He's had yeah. it. Yeah, has yeah. he? Yeah, yeah. But then he goes, he goes, and I married that woman. <laughs> so she would man. never tell that's anyone a, else? That's, exactly. a man that, that's a man that knows how to do business. Exactly, you know, right? Funny, a lot of stuff that I wouldn't do before that I do with Jay. A lot Sorry. of that I would never do on like one night stands. Suck like I like I, I never. It's like I definitely have like explored sexuality way more within my relationship than most of my fucking was like just being drunk and getting fucked. Yeah, like that was it. There was nothing really. Yeah, it. it's most of my fucking. <laughs> like County Dan. This has been deep, and we have to fucking go. Andrew Schultz, finger deep. Thanks for hanging out, man. He's Yo, gonna be at Gotham Comedy Club. That's right here in New York City. Uh, this weekend, Friday, April thirteenth, and Saturday, April fourteenth. Andrew's absolutely Absolutely fucking hilarious, man. Go check oh, him out. Great. Thank you, guys. Uh, get tickets for that at theandrewshoals.com. S-C-H-U-L-Z. Theandrewshoals.com. Season 3 of Billions airing Sundays. Hey. 10 p.m. on Showtime. The Sixers and the Nuggets. Yeah! Come on, Playing Nugs. tonight for uh, Sixers playing on, for Sixers. positioning. This is, big, this is a big game. Huge. Do you know the last the Sixers can lock up third this seed? Is, by the way, I'm so, this is such by chance that Andrew's here. Yeah. Last time... The Sixers were in the playoffs. It was a bunk season with a Iguodala and Drew Holiday were the stars. That. Yeah, they uh, they played. They were eighth seed. They played number one Bulls. Derrick Rose goes out from an ACL first game. Sixers get through. They AC beats the first round. But they're a bum. They're not going to make it anywhere big. And so I knew I pretty much had about four games of basketball left. <laughs> and they went down right away, I think 0-3 to the – maybe they won one. But whatever the last game was, I was DVRing it. And I was waiting to go home and watch it. And Schultz okay. just goes, he goes, hey, man, Sixers tonight, huh? And I was like, uh, yeah, I was like, I'm DVRing it. And I don't know. It was just a miscommunication. Because I know Schultz is a sports guy. I wouldn't have done yeah. it on purpose. Hey. He just didn't drink in what I said. Whatever <laughs> he goes, he goes, you know, they lost. And I was like, oh. But you that was upset. it. That you was the upset. En- that was the end of the playoffs. Too. That, was the, that was the knockout oh. game. So he didn't even get to watch the knockout. And he was like, and, and, and Andrew, to his credit, was like, dude, I'm sorry. He goes, that yeah. fucking, I know. I get yeah. it, man. He goes, I didn't yeah. know I was doing that. I, ah. But you know, that, that, that was a good moment because I didn't, I didn't take you for a sports fan. It was probably just because of, you know, seeing the way you dress yeah, or whatever wallet like that. chains and what have you. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But from then on, you've been a guy who talks sports with. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So absolutely. It, it, you know. Great sports fan. Uh, well, good luck to your uh, Sixers. Go Nuggets. Beat the Timberwolves. Go fucking Nuggets. Get in the playoffs. And we'll... DanSoder.com, uh, BigJComedy.com for all of our dates. And we'll be back the Monday. bonfire playoff effect. Yeah. Ooh. It's pretty good. It's Wait down. till the NFL season next year. Jimmy we'll catch G. you guys. In Enjoy the-, the lost tapes tomorrow. And uh, we'll catch you live next week. Crackle, crackle. It's the bonfire. Oh.